everyone. Welcome to Court of Court. <laughs> <laughs> No! Uh, welcome uh, to Court of Corbids, where we get it right the first time, every time. Exactly. We <laughs> never, ever repeat anything ever because I am perfect at my job. Um, My name is Jake. I go by he, him, uh, but I'll be the GM, so I'll be going by a bunch of different pronouns. Uh, so keep up. Let's uh, start with William, who definitely has enough headroom for his for his screen. Their, go for it. Their, their head. Their head. For their they're, head. They're I have enough headroom awesome for their head. head. They're big, beautiful, wonderful, awesome. If head. you never notice, I do have a, a rather large forehead. I just want you I just want that to be clear. I mean, yeah. But I'm William They Them. I'm playing Remy Ashwillow, the goblin, uh Dampier detective fighter, also they them. And uh, I'm also in a band called Glass Beach. You can find our stuff at Glass Beach Band generally. We have a <laughs> remix album. What are you what are you laughing? My, are you my hand? <laughs> We have a remix album that is uh, coming out on the 5th of March. And that's really exciting. It's a, it's a remix of our first album, the first Glass Beach album. And it is a track for track remix with uh, some doubles. But we literally mm -hmm. got people to remix every single song on the album. So it's going to be mm -hmm. a lot of fun. It's super cool. I'll, really good artists on there. I mean, yeah, we have Barty Strange. We've got Dog Leg. We have um, Left at London like and, and Robin, which is uh, not not you but robin who, <laughs> who is holiday kiss yeah uh, who they have a new they called, called wow, wow okay. okay uh which is really exciting and like that i mean there's a ton we have so many people. clover and sea life all oh. i mean pink shift we've got <laughs> who don't we I have like we have Nambi. yeah pink awesome. shift is, yeah yeah we love pink shift it's amazing it's coming out Friends March of the 5th. Channel. it's gonna be on our our band camp and it's gonna be on streaming platforms mm -hmm. uh yep. i believe that it's coming out on Bandcamp friday Mm -hmm. which like all the streaming revenue is going to go to like which ourselves and run for cover and the other artists. Yeah. So it's, check it out. It's going to be freaking awesome. If you like our music and you want to see what other people do with it, it's a, it's a really cool thing. Yeah. I think, I think a couple of the remixes I like maybe more than the songs. Oh, <laughs> there, there are some, like a lot of them are so much new songs in their own right. That they've just become a new favorite song of mine. Like, yeah, not not even like in context of the fact that it's based on one that we worked that we wrote. But yeah. yeah, and I do two other shows for Q Times. One is called Hijinks and Handlebars. Uh, it when we went remote, we started to play Dungeon World, but there's uh, there's bad man affiliated with that game. <laughs> Uh, and some more stuff has come out recently. I'm going to talk about it when we stream again on Thursday. I'm going to mm -hmm. make a more like official statement at the beginning of the episode. But we are switching systems. Uh, we're trying to figure that out right now. And uh, so jo join us for that. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, Hijinks and Handlebars was the Kids on Bikes campaign. We will return to that continuity eventually. Uh, before then, we will switch this system and then do a Kids on Brooms and then back to Kids on Bikes. But you can find all of that stuff on the Q-Town's main YouTube channel and a playlist called Hijinks and Handlebars. And unfortunately, the other playlist is called Hijinks and Dungeon World. Uh, <laughs> so check that out. Easily changeable. Easily, yeah. changeable. easily changeable. Yeah, and we and we can go in and edit out all the times we've said Dungeon World, and... <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Not it's so easy. Fine. Not so easy. <laughs> people, people will understand. And then the other one is a Monster of the Week campaign called Killer Set, and that's where I take real live musicians and bands and have to play fake musicians and bands that have to fight monsters and solve mysteries in order to play their gigs. It happens sometimes. I've had two bands on Pink Shift and Pink Bad Shift. Moves. Bad Moves. It literally just depends on if a band gets back to me and if i can coordinate with them and, and then the show happens so far and few between but it's fun when it does happen so just check that out i'm done now all right jonas hello my name is jonas they them and i play the chameleon gnome dampier storm druid robin she her uh, i'm also in the band glass beach with william i i play bass among other things and uh yeah the just gonna second the excitement for that remix album it's gonna be very very cool two of the songs are out already you can find on our band camp um and yeah uh, i if you enjoy our music you will love that and if you don't yet you have a week to listen to our album before it comes out and then i truly believe that you will love it um and i'm also on the hijinks show so i'll be returning with that on thursday Whatever we end up doing, we're still working out how we want to switch systems, but we have some talks in the works. And, uh, oh yeah, and then I've been um, doing, uh, starting to get back into streaming on the Glass Beach Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Glass Beach Band. We do mostly game streams on there, sometimes music streams, sometimes just hanging out. Uh, and uh, our guitarist Lane and I have just started a playthrough, my first playthrough of the Shadow of the Colossus remake. 
and we are a little over halfway through that game now and it's it's a very fun beautiful game if you haven't played it i recommend tuning in for that and experiencing it at least through that way and that's on tuesday nights at like five pacific we start that our twitter chat or our uh, twitter will tweet about that when it's coming up as will i at jonas newhouse on twitter awesome krug I'm playing Crew God, the Human Monk, both of us, he, him. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about Game Gorgon. Game Gorgon is this great show we have on YouTube where we talk about uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition stuff and other RPGs sometimes. Um, the last thing that we did uh, for Game Gorgon was Game Gorgon Live, which I don't know if you know is where we do Game Gorgon, but it's live. It's not edited, it's live. Uh, and that was really fun. We went over the like first quarter of the uh, uh, new ancestries in Lost Omens Ancestry Guide. Um, it was, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. There's definitely a lot of cool stuff in there. And uh, I think on Wednesday, is that right, yes. Jake? Yes. On Wednesday, we're planning on doing part two of that. We're going to actually also stream it on YouTube. That's important for you to know. So it's not going to be here because while we do have the technical capacity to stream to both platforms at the same time, we do not have the permission to do so. So um, we'll be streaming it on YouTube to just kind of test it and see if you know more people come um so yeah catch that we'll we'll provide details on our twitter uh like when before we go live and stuff uh, as to the time so keep an eye out for that um and then also keep an eye out for the next gunslinger video which is that's what we have coming up next as far as edited content is concerned it's good stuff it's gonna be fun times that's the end of my, my talking thank and you and molly were you gonna say moss yep Mossly. Molly. Molly. It's like Willow, but Molly. Hi, I'm Molly Kaiser. I play Moss. I play Moss the Magnificent. Uh, you can find me and Moss, who's just a facet of my personality. Wow, I'm really cropped weird, aren't I? Um, you can find me across the internet, Molly McIsaac, except here on Twitch, which is Night Glimmer. And we are both she, her. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to fix that crop then. Uh <laughs> I was in the process of fixing it, and I was like, well, nope. Uh, so Moss, actually, Molly, slash, slash the same person. Uh, do, you know what, do, you, do you know what I uh, Do you know what I downloaded the other day? What did you download? I downloaded Final Fantasy. Holy 14? shit, Maloney! Yeah. 14, Jake? <laughs> yeah, the MMO, you, right? Do you have a character yet? I do have a character. Uh, what what, are you on fan for it? I'm on whatever server Alquin is on. That, oh, Alquin is, the, Alquin is not on fan for it, but Alquin okay. is on Primal. So okay, it is Primal still. Jake, we can yeah. hang out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I I started a character. I am. I don't know the the ancestry, but it's the big, huge burly Broken dude. In! Yeah. Whoa. Um, Jonas. Yeah. I was on last night, and I just and I realized like when you logged out that you changed your last name. I did. So I, I did that fairly recently. I didn't see you online. I was like, man, Jonas isn't online. Oh, you didn't see? I, I have a heart next to your name, so I always notice when you're online because it boosts oh. you to the top. Oh, oops. I mean, <laughs> I totally have that too. Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> and I thought your characters were engaged, but apparently they not. They are. Apparently I'm the only one. <laughs> We actually are getting married soon. I got to respond to you about that because we got to sign up. I'm really freaking glad I logged on last night too because just the like two weeks that I've been on, offline, my house was marked as abandoned. Oh no. So I got it unabandoned, but they cool. were going to sell it to someone else. I don't know how any of the systems work. Uh, let's uh, let's move forward and let's talk about the show. Um, Robin... Remy and Krug, the three of you have spent the last few days uh, going through minds and listening to Guile talk about all of the different interesting things here and there coming across a little bit of creatures and animals that you have been easily been able to deal with, whether it would be uh, Robin calming them down and letting them know that you're not here to attack their homes um, to some creatures who were just in general hostile and you having to deal with them uh, direct, more directly. I would like the three of you to add something to your character sheets. I need you to be put that you're trained in mining lore. <gasps> Yay! Trained in mining lore. That makes me Thanks. so happy. Kyle, how do I... 
do that on this <laughs> turn. <laughs> Lore. So the three of you have Mind. been doing that. You're you're going to spend another day going out with Guile. You think you've you've narrowed the location down to an area that's a little bit more. I wouldn't say wild's not the the way to say it, but more lively of an area. Um, and you all are getting up early in the morning, like you all usually do, uh, to prepare for your day. Not quite sure when when Moss is going to show up. When you see Moss at early, early, earlier than you've ever seen Moss ever be awake, walking through the front door of the inn. Moss! Uh, I, I think Robin charges her. Because uh, she was prepared for Moss to come back either dead or covered in someone else's blood. It, it seems like neither is the case here. Well, yeah. Moss, describe what you look like. I look probably more disheveled than you've ever seen me outside of like waking up in the morning. Like my eyes are super puffy. My there's like streaks of dirt on, on my face and my clothes, but like no blood, just uh, very, just like my shoulders are sagging. I, I, I am a woman defeated. Oh, I think, I think Robin, like she she runs at her and like sees this and first like instinct is to because I've got pressed digitation um, and I've kind of done this before just like touch some of that up mask some of it because I know that uh, Moss probably doesn't doesn't prefer people to see her like this um, and then I I think wraps a big hug around like I guess to her middle because I'm two and a half feet tall. Moss literally is just like so like floppy she kind of like raises her hand and like gently pats on top of robin's head but like her wrist is loose and she's very just like dejected did you did you do it the the thing the deed did you do it well if you're asking me if i'm single now then yes oh god i'm i'm so sorry moss I mean, it's for the best. They just, you know, they wouldn't admit what they were up to, but I know what they were up to. Of course. Um, if I may ask, what did you do with the bodies? Oh, no, no, no. There was no bloodshed. I decided to be the bigger person, so, oh, you know. Boss. You didn't have I, to do that, but it I is know. good that you did. And now It's good that you did. I think you'll feel better this way, honestly. I I think killing is very bad for the soul. I, I, I think you've made the right choice. I just didn't have the energy to kill them, you know? I just I just looked at them and I was like, if you're gonna be happy, then you can be happy. I don't care. They were like, we're just friends. We're just training partners. And I was like, I appreciate you trying to make me feel better, but I don't fucking believe you. And then I, and I, and I just, you know, I just, I, I told Scott I never, who, want to see him again so <laughs> you know moss do you know what a what a miner does when they're they're feeling down like this <laughs> i'm rolling mining lore <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> i've got i've got minor brain um so that's gonna be 11 plus intelligence plus what plus proficiency which is eight so 11 plus plus 11 22 uh so not to be that person but drink heavily <laughs> <laughs> yeah robin walks moss to the bar oh you really know what i need there my friend <laughs> moss starts sobbing and like smacks her head down on the bar am, am i nearby I think we're all. Oh yeah, you're you all. Were, you're, you're you all were like prepping and getting ready for the morning. Yeah, as we're like on our way out of the. But, but right. Robin yeah. was the only one that like ran up to Moss. Okay, mm -hmm. then then Remy's gonna like, follow to the bar and like go up to the bar after like Moss slams her head on the on the on the bar, and Remy's going to just be like, you know, Moss and magnificent. You know, sometimes, sometimes a mine has nothing in it, and sometimes. Sometimes the mind does have something in it, but it is too dangerous for you to to get it. And then sometimes you feel safe inside of a mind, 
you know, you've got your shafts, you've got your drifts, everything seems to be going well. And then boom, something goes wrong. Maybe you hit some natural gas. Maybe there's a collapse. Ooze. Sometimes it can come out of nowhere. And really the only thing you can do is make sure that you are taking care of yourself and assessing each situation as it comes along. These are the things you learn in mining, however. So uh, <laughs> hopefully you will come to this wisdom, this uh, frame of mind eventually yourself. But really, you are the only one who can guide your mind cart. Goodbye. And, <laughs> and then Remy's just going to walk away. Moss is so confused. <laughs> she just looks up at Remy for a moment and then slams her head back down on the <laughs> counter again and like holds her hand out towards the bartender waiting for a drink to be handed to her. I love it because we haven't actually told Moss. Oh yeah, we've been going through mines <laughs> yeah. the last few days. Yeah, just, she's, like, she's, just, she's beyond confused but doesn't have <laughs> the energy to ask questions. <laughs> The bartender walks up and is like, oh, haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Oh, um, <clears throat> and just slides a bottle over. <laughs> Thank you. And then she kind of like as far back on the on the bench as she or on the stool as she can without falling off, like with one hand on the front of it, like leans back and just starts like pouring it in her mouth. But it's like overflowing from her mouth. And like dripping down her Hell front yeah. and her and her neck. <laughs> What's I'm just remembering. This is at like seven a.m. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Krug's uh, like around and listening, and and probably after uh, they stop battering her with mining talk, Krug's gonna walk up to Moss and uh, put his hand on her shoulder and say, "Remember, Moss, forgiveness is a gift to those who wrong you." Moving on is a gift to yourself. And then Krug's going to just kind of like walk towards the door and lean against the door jam and wait for her to compile Light herself. Up a cigarette, put on some <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just waiting to leave, but I, I'm, not, I'm not like yeah. listening to the conversation much anymore. What are these fucking platitudes? <laughs> ah! as, as Moss is crying and drinking this bottle, uh, Guile walks through the door and goes, Hi, friends. Who's ready for another exciting day of mining? Guile, Guile, no, just, just how we're just gonna hold that energy, okay? Which we're, we're okay. Um, I'm actually gonna go over to Guile and just like our, our friend has returned and she's going through a bit of a thing, oh, so we're oh, gonna we're gonna oh, okay. we're gonna support that energy for a bit and then we can get excited again. Which I I still yeah. have that in me, okay? Yes, and right, Remy walks over. Yes, Guile, see, no, we need to support her, like you know, the beams mm. and the frames yes. support the mine, exactly. you know. <laughs> so. Uh, this is really something we need to do. You know what? I know. I have an idea. I'm I'm going to walk over to the bard over there in the corner, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put something on that will ease the mood. And Remy's gonna go over and punch the bard, like <laughs> like like a, like a, like like, like the fawns, like, like punch the bard and like <laughs> like lean up against the wall, arms crossed, like okay, here we go. You you do that, and they're like, what the. Oh, it's oh, the song. Play it. Then, here, here we go. Here again. Like a little, like a soft punch. And boom. Like, okay. They're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they were playing a song and you made them stop. It's like a record scratch. Yeah. I'm just like, boom. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's like, uh, play something melancholic for my friend uh, to make her feel worse, but also in a good way. And Remy just walks away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and they, they start playing a melancholy song as uh, Guile walks over to Krug and goes, well, uh, good morning to you, too. Uh, how are you? Oh, uh, I'm great. Look, uh, you'll have to forgive our friend. She's in a, a, a weird place. Um, granted, she put herself in that place, but, you know, not <laughs> everybody. Blaming. Not uh, I'm I'm out of Moss's earshot right now. Right? <laughs> I'm That's all the way I'm on saying. the other side. I don't know. She got elf ears. <laughs> That's ancestriest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So you're 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 away from Moss. Uh, I mean, granted, she put herself in that place, but who hasn't made a couple mistakes in their time, right? I definitely get that. I've I've more than once put myself into a weird little spot. Um, but um, 
should we cancel mining for the day or sh should we uh wait a little i don't know what you all want to do i don't think we can i don't think we can postpone that seem it seems too important for us to postpone but maybe but maybe maybe we'll go a little bit later is that all right with you yeah we can we can burn some daylight that's totally fine with me great I must uh, do we know where we're going yet do, you, do we have a plan yeah i've got there are three mines um that are nearby where we kind of circumnavigated where this person might be coming from but i must say it is actually quite lively um they actually stopped mining these locations because they realized that there were quite a few um how do you say uh living rocks there <gasps> do i know um you're gonna make me roll i don't know why i'm even oh, asking mining lore. no not mining lore <laughs> Um, roll mining war. <laughs> I'd like to roll. I mean, maybe occultism. Maybe I'll roll. Oh wait, I'm not trained in occultism. I guess I'm rolling mining lore, honestly. Yeah. yeah. And while you're it's, dealing with that, it's, it. it's actually the most reasonable thing for me to roll, which I did Remy's not expect. Go back over to the bar where uh, Moss is and sit down next to her, like feet dangling on the bar, off the bar stool. Uh, just gesture over to the bar and be like, "Oh, this one this is my favorite." You will always be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Remy, why are you rubbing salt in the wound? <laughs> it's not rubbing salt in the wound. But I am interested in seeing if we can find some salt deposits later when we go and trudge through the mines. I got Moss a 24. <laughs> Moss is still like, why are you all talking like miners what the hell? <laughs> yeah she's already finished the one bottle and she's holding her hand out for another just like completely so confused oh, roll me roll me <laughs> jesus roll me uh, a fortitude save dc 25 oh, oh boy you're messed up you're <laughs> messed up she said a whole bottle i had to oh no no no! i agree with the call i'm not disagreeing <laughs> with you oh by the way just like a side note can we heal Oh no! I was at like 20 HP at the end of the last episode. It's been like three days. You yeah. better have healed by now. Yeah. Oh no! I rolled 24. <laughs> Wait, get guidance. <laughs> no. no. Well, oh, oh, actually, yeah. If I see she's finished the drink right away, can I just like, yeah, just just like rub a circle on her back a few times, help her kind of keep that down. I did work on saving throws. I can't remember. <laughs> um, I think so. I have Check. no idea. I will double check. Uh, I don't know if it would, would it, would it help? Um. Uh. Yep. Saving to us can be part yeah, of. it. we should we shouldn't get too too frivolous with our with our retroactive guidance. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd hate to be a rule keeper here, but I'm going to have to put down the books on this one. <laughs> uh, put it down and bring it up again. <laughs> uh, Moss, you are going to take a minus. Four to intelligence and a plus two to charisma. That's, that's literally an overall buff. Okay. Mm. Plus Not so much. Charisma and, <laughs> and, uh, and minus four to intelligence. Okay. What is your intelligence currently at? Um, oh, you're going to forget languages? Fif 15 18, intelligence? 18. Yeah. Your intelligence is an 18 right now? Yeah. With a minus four? No, that's impossible. No, 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 no. 18 before the minus four. Oh, oh okay. I was like, like 14, that's yeah. physically impossible. <laughs> okay, I was 14. Okay, okay. And then my charisma is 21 now. Yeah, so you're you're charismatic and 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 like people are like are noticing you, but you don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> <laughs> Having a high notice ratio is not the best. Krug, what was your uh, mining lore? Uh, I think it was 24. So uh, in the last couple of days, uh, Guile has, in fact, mentioned um, things about uh, something called uh, Sod uh, Hound and uh, Living Landslides, which are basically big, huge, giant rock creatures. Hold on. How do you have an 18 and a 19? Am I, am I doing my stats wrong? And a 21. Well, no, the 21 is because oh, of the oh. plus two from Charisma of the of from so, the drink so at at level was it five you get uh four boosts into different stats yeah i, yeah, could, I, I could have an 18 and a 19 if i, I have an 18 left. and a 19 
Pondex or Charisma. Um, let me look at yours. Did you, I just even out something? If, or if you didn't, if you hadn't put points in the deck and had done Charisma instead, you'd also or Constitution, you'd also have an eighteen and a nineteen. Why did I do that? You can change it if Jake's cool with that. It's nah, it's out. fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Honestly, your character's okay. I don't know what you built, but it's working fine. Whatever you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes. Yeah, so oh. You, Sorry, you know, you know these to be very, uh, very large rock creatures that like normally lay dormant and sleeping in the ground. But as miners are digging and going through, uh, they'll accidentally hit them in the process because they don't know the difference between the rocks itself and living stone creatures. And they'll piss them off and end up killing entire groups of miners because of it. Um, but yeah. Uh, that is, um, you, you, you said that the, the living landslide was like a, a gargantuan thing. Like, it, is it actually that big or is it like a large creature? No, know, it's a medium it? creature. Uh, oh, okay, uh, okay. a sod hound is small and a landslide is medium. Gotcha. Um, is this like if these creatures scared off the miner? Well, maybe I should just ask, did, did these creatures scare off the miners because the miners weren't equipped to deal with any sort of, you know, violence or is, should we also be afraid of this? That that's what I'm getting at. Oh no, we're we're not going there to mine. So as long as we don't harm them, theoretically, we shouldn't have any sort of issues with them. Um, oh. They're usually pretty docile creatures. It's just uh, you know putting sticks of explosions in the ground and and with pickaxes going into them. They usually don't like to be you know messed with. You know, it's funny, you, you've you taught us all this stuff about mining, and you'd think the one thing I'd remember would be the explosives, but I always forget about the explosives. Yep. Uh, Moss, uh, uh, you're going to you're gonna feel like a hand on your hand, just okay. like for, for a moment, and then and then Remy's going to look at you and just go, hey, Moss the Magnificent, we have some business we need to attend to. You can either come along or, or we shall go without you. I, I will say it is, it is pressing. Uh, as I am Detective Ashwillo, uh, working for the city, I need to go take care of this. We have narrowed down where the revenant is. And speaking of revenants, I have been thinking, if you had in fact done something to kill either Mia, oh, or I didn't Scott, kill anybody, Robbie. I, I'm, I'm, I, I know, I believe you. But if you had, I mean, I seeing as how strong, I know you haven't. But if you had. Seeing as how strong like revenants kind of are, you may have it, like in that you know sort of like a vengeance killing created a revenant. And thinking about Mia or Scott or Mia and Scott being a revenant, oh, that's dead scary. set to that's kill you. Oh, that would be horrible. So you really did the best thing for yourself, I think, and and for all of us in in not doing the killing. Uh, I did so it. I know. I'm saying you didn't. Do, well, okay, Moss. The way you're protesting it now, I think you did kill both of them. Like no. we were talking about it. So you didn't I wanna, kill them. I want to come with on the adventure because uh, I could kill something. I want to kill something. Can I kill something? Okay, Moss. Very loud to be yelling. <laughs> I want to kill something. Very loud. Uh, the crew walks up and goes, "Yes, we actually can kill a couple of things." Uh, are you ready to go, Moss? <laughs> Moss has till the end of this song. It is a 14 minute song. It's very good. Do Moss I notice that she's drunk? Oh, yeah. Oh, deep breath. <laughs> oh, we can't bring her into the mines drunk. Uh, well, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> no. I want to go. I want to go. I'm going to be helpful. We kind of we need her regardless of whether or not she's sober. There, there, there is an elemental problem in the mines I that we're going to be help. visiting today. So. We can it's kind of yeah um you, you hear what she's saying a couple hours right she can sleep this off drink some water in a couple hours we go does that work no we, i mean we're wasting time we're yeah we're i mean we can postpone a little bit but i don't want to be walking back to safety at night that's that's my thing fair. um so i don't know what time is it do we know what time it is it's like still morning. Do, yeah, do it's we have enough time to for okay the thing I don't know because oh, I haven't is... actually been doing this for three days. Oh, How God. long does it take for us to like delve a mine on average? Krug, you think this would work? Krug, Ma Moss, yeah, Moss. Krug, Moss. Just let me take this with me 
and it'll be fine. And she's holding the bottle. It'll be fine. I'm functional and I can do this. Just I I can heal and I can throw fireballs because of Cloaky. Cloaky will babysit me. Just let yeah. me do it. Okay. It'll be fine. And you know what? You'll walk off a lot of this on the way there. Drink some water on the walk. I no, 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 no. Stay right here in this mindset. I, I need to stay here in this mindset. Awesome. Uh, for the time being, you are clumsy one, by the way. <laughs> um, Jake, um, I'm going to DM you. Jake was like, I must find a better debuff. <laughs> well, no, because uh, how I always view it is that your first your first save, you it, it's it's the debuff and the buff, right? The second time, um, it, 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 it gets worse and worse and worse. Uh, and, and like it progressively gets to the point where you just pass out, right? Like <laughs> you're incoherent. Uh, yeah. But yes, so... Um, uh, crew to answer your question, it depends on the size of the mine. It can take you 10 minutes or it can take you four hours. It depends on how deep they went into the mine. Well, I mean, if it Moss is making it seem like she's going to get drunk regardless of what time yeah. it is. So, uh, we just kind of have to go. That's true. Better now while she's less drunk than she'll be in 10 minutes. It is true. Cool. Um, and I'm going to try to get Moth to drink water on the way. And then, Jake, I DM'd you something else I might want to try. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want your uh, input on it first? Uh, I also want to... Remember we had a bottle of something that yes, Scott that would, would drink? Work. Okay, cool. Then, um, as we're walking, um, as I'm handing... Is Moth accepting, like, jars of water from Robin on the walk? Yeah. Uh, with one of them... As our like hands are brushing as I'm passing it, I'm going to use the spell Neutralize Poison. Uh, you pour healing magic through the target in an attempt to cure one poison afflicting it. Attempt a counteract check against the poison. Uh, do you know how counteract checks work? Or should I look that up? Uh, counteract checks? You, you yeah. won't be able to figure out the DC of the poison. You just have to do... I, I think it's your... Oh, man. I only play... I only play characters that don't have magic. Counteracting, um, here we go. You I do, I do want to say that I, Remy grabs their, their bastard sword uh, before heading out. Cool. Uh, I'm glad it's, you said that. You get another save, but it's a DC cool. that's calculated. Guess, yeah. Let me ask before I do this, actually. Um, for an out-of-character, Moss... Do you would you prefer to continue or Molly? Would you prefer to continue playing Moss drunk this episode rather than me attempting to sober you up before we go in? I think it's funnier. Okay, <laughs> cool. Then I'm not going to do this right now, but I do have the spell prepared, so sure. I might if it seems like it would be helpful. Um, so yeah, just just given water then. Yeah, just just let Moss have some some yeah. some feelings. I realize this is the problem I might not need to solve, especially since Robin is the one who said, you know what you need. <laughs> cool. Okay. Never mind. Um, uh, and and uh, Krug is, is also like correct in saying that we have the, that bottle yep. That's, of yeah. Scott mm -hmm. that, that like immediately just sober someone up. So is that, would you grab that Krug to have? Yeah, on that's hand? what I was going to say cool. is before we leave, I'm going to go grab that from the thing. If it's still there, is it even still there? It's freaking huge, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's a big jug. It's a huge jug. Oh, but... I'm going to pour some into some flasks and put like, I'm going to take three flasks of that stuff. So okay. um, I, I will say in the last couple of days, uh, um, you have been traveling with um, with uh, Guile. When you're going to further out places, you're actually taking his cart mm. that he calls Big Joe. Big Joe! That's adorable. So it's it's very far, the caravan? Yeah, so you could easily carry right. bring the whole jug if you wanted. God. You know how there's always a bad person that Jake has clearly put a lot of thought and love into in these arcs. Uh -huh. I'm just thinking about how Guile is the person that we know the most about now, and it just makes me nervous. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> well, it just yeah. makes me nervous. I just have some, some There's trauma. There's that, but we did also learn a bunch about the gay farmers. That's true. Kevin and Michael, yeah. we, we knew a bunch about. They were very lovable. And... Well, but that, we I think we already had... Um, uh, the Kenku as like a clear antagonist in that situation. Sure. So this is like we don't know who the bad guy is going to be, and and we only have got. Granted, we we get to know Guile because we've been going to the mines, which maybe we weren't going to do. I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah, it would be pretty ridiculous if we hadn't done anything with the mines, though. Seeing as how one of the first things Jake said was like, "This is a mining town." It's uh... like, oh, cool. Where's the bar? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was prepared for mining. Uh, so you take Big Joe and Guile. Uh, it guides you all the way out to a large, um, a large what seems to be pockets of mines. You can see the. Um, you can actually see when you get there. Uh, you're able to see at least three head frames all around from the location. Cool. And he looks around and he goes, well, um, I guess we could just pick one, whichever we want. Um, I, I thank you so much for not saying split up. No. Oh, gosh, no. That's not safe. Not safe at all, especially when we've got uh, Moss here who uh, uh, is a little bit um, uneven well, with her not... stepping. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> now, uh, don't, really, uh, don't, 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 don't make her mad. Don't make her mad. <laughs> um, Guile, Guile is going to um, all give you all the equipment that you've been using. Like the first day, he didn't use anything, mm -hmm. uh, but he is going to uh, give you some equipment uh, because Robin's dinners have been also delicious, and he cares mm -hmm. about your safety. Aww. So you're all going to be taking um, some gear that's going to give you a plus one save to uh, any reflex saves needed uh, for mining specific incidents. So if like cool. the floor <laughs> falls, yeah, it happens. Sure, just to be prepared for mining accidents. Exactly. Basically. It's it's a helmet. You've got a little bit of like, you know, a little little um a light, you know, you're all you're all in a good spot. Um uh, you all head over to uh the head the first head frame and uh you go straight into a tunnel. It looks uh pretty clean, but it looks like it hasn't been touched in a while. Like it looks clean in the sense that nothing has collapsed, cool. but it looks um like it hasn't been physically touched in a while, which could be Sure. why nothing has collapsed um i would like to roll an actual like perception check and see if there's anything like hiding in the shadows or any uh weaknesses in the structure that we might sure. not notice immediately sure. um also uh dog skate hasn't been coming with us since the first incident because that was clearly so dangerous um <laughs> smart and that's an 18 also, I have my dancing lights. There's one on each of our helmets, like a like a headlight. Um, okay. Uh, for perception, that is 18 plus 14. Uh, it is 32. A 32. You look in directly uh, right next to Guile, and the two of you are kind of said uh, at the what is called the uh, the portal is the name of the entrance of the tunnel. So the two of you, yeah, the two of you stand at the portal and look a little bit deeper into it. Um, he, he moves he moves his hand and the little orb of light moves forward in towards in the mine a little bit and goes, well, this one looks okay to me. And you, you also see that- I agree, you know, it looks okay to me too. Well, uh, let's head right in. And the two of you start heading in you explore uh, a few drifts, nothing too exciting or interesting. Um, and then you start to notice a horrible smell. Oh, Remy? I promise I took a shower. And and guy goes, no, 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 that definitely smells like um, decay. Uh, yeah. Religion? You Is this roll? like a... Like a, an, I, I'm worried that there's going to be some sort of evil ritual nonsense down here. I'm thinking it is a, a dead body. I want to try to pick up the scent in a way that I can track. Try to like locate a direction it's strongest. So that's actually a, a thing called imprecise, uh, imprecise sense. That's right. Yeah, Dogskate could do that. Um, well, I believe I can too if I wild shape. Um, maybe we don't need that yet, but. Um, I don't know if you get the sense when you, but you might. I don't know. There is a way that I can get it. Maybe it's just a spell. I think it's when you shape change. That's what I thought too. Um, no, it doesn't say that. Okay. Well, I got uh, a, I got a twenty-nine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense to be feet. Yep. Oh, nice. Sorry. 
What what was that, Krug? I got a 29 for religion. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is like, is this just mundane dead rotting body or is there something like uh, weird about it that would indicate some sort of ritual? Just uh, based on the smell. Based off the smell, you would you 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 sniff and you're like, smells like something dead. Okay. You, would, you would you you it doesn't. Mm, That's do fine. You, if there's not enough information, I get it. I just if there was. No no no. I was trying to think that if undead creatures have a specific scent that's different than just a dead body. That's what I, as a GM, was trying to figure out. Got it. I'm gonna say no. They smell that's the a, same. That's fair. Yeah yeah yeah. Wait, Unless they've done something damage, to smell different. I think someone can smell evil. But like <laughs> what I what I was. <laughs> What I was more thinking is like, do I also smell like candles? The, or, yeah, 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 exactly. Right, right now with with right now, you only smell the death. Okay, um, I'm going to shapeshift into okay. a dark green riding dog. Looks a lot like Dogskin de Gorno, but like if they had a third sibling, uh, that's Robin and Green. Um, and I do have imprecise or precise, imprecise, imprecise scent to thirty feet. So you sniff around. Roll me a perception now with this imprecise. Cool. Has it changed at all? Can't have gotten higher. Oh, there's another 18 uh, plus 14, so 32. You sniff around, and you it's past your, your range, but you can definitely smell the direction, and it's deeper into the mine. I think Robin just starts like with her nose to the ground and then like her tail kind of pointing in that direction. She starts following it. Um, maybe looks back after like 10 feet at everyone and then keeps going. I I'm going to be right behind you. Uh, cool. As you continue to walk, you see that there is um, maybe a few days old dead male corpse smashed on the ground. Uh, seem orcish. Yep. Okay, that tracks. Um, yeah, definitely like sniffing that area very, very closely. Can I pick up uh, any like scents of other beings that don't appear to have like come from this body? Um, maybe like, some, maybe like a stone that is not part of the walls. It might be a big rock creature or something. Roll, roll me a per uh, perception. Cool. Ooh, that time I rolled a four. We have forty hero points, right? <laughs> yeah yeah you do something like that yeah i'm gonna use one cool so seven team 21 you know i love to see a not wasted hero point i love to see <laughs> is mean, i would say <laughs> you look around and try to see where like what could be different and you notice that the ceiling has dried blood on it yeah so this dog is, is there just, signs like, of at the ceiling Dog is there up. signs of a struggle of like a fight, or is it just this person died? Uh, it it looks like a person like this. <laughs> can I can I <laughs> can I make a uh, maybe warfare lore? Would that help me figure out if that if if there was a, a sure. fight? You can roll whatever you would like right now. Yeah, I was looking for is some. Is there a trap? Blend. Oh, I didn't do that good. Sixteen total. Uh, how close to the body do you get? Um. Where did you stop, Robin? I'm at the body. Robin is like sniffing directly in the area of the body. Oh, I'll I'll, I'll walk up to the body. The two of you are at the body, and I'm gonna need both of you uh, to die. No, 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 no. You're, it's gonna. You're each gonna get an attack against you. Oh well. Damn. That's not oh, the greatest. Oh, sorry, natural 20. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I was that the one against crew. me though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um okay. Take 125 damage. Oh, well. Uh Bye, the, Robin. Second, the second one was a 21 to hit Robin. That I don't think is gonna cut it because I'm a dog. <laughs> wow. And my AC is 23. Wow. Yeah, and the last one does not hit. Um, you see the the ceiling drops down, and three arms just go for uh from like, boom, boom, and then a center one boom, tries to punch down. Only one of them hits, and it hits Krug. Mm -hmm. um, Pretty hard. Yeah. 
Ooh, and it's a deadly D10. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Kaz's comment, someone hopped on a jump pad in a closed room. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just scratch. <laughs> Come on. Like a single Mario digit. jumping to break a brick, but he breaks instead. All right. Let's see. That's 11 plus 8 is 19 plus 8 equals 27 times 2, which is 54. Krug, take 54 points of damage. Whoa. It was a crit. Right. Ow. <laughs> That's insane. Okay. So you said three arms. Can you describe what we're looking at, maybe? The the as it smashes down and doesn't manage to kill Krug, it all of a sudden the what looked to be a hallway lifts up and is open into a large chasm. You see in front of you uh a squatty round giant rock that has three legs three arms and three eyes with one massive maw which is filled with gems and metals uh yeah that's what you see like kind of in the shape of jagged teeth mm -hmm. uh three legs i can imagine is it an arm in the middle or two on one side uh it's like uh it's it's a one in the middle okay um well i will let you know my instinct is to see what happens if I try to bite it. Uh, but well, we can resolve gonna... that in whatever order makes sense. Yeah, we're going to need to uh, roll uh, uh, initiative. So Cool. Could I roll an athletics to just like leap at it when I see what it is? Can I, instead of using perception for initiative, can I use the amount of damage that I took? <laughs> <laughs> no. Dang it. <laughs> um... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to the um, athletics because okay. it, it is it is about what your first it's not about what your first action is once you notice it it is about what your first action is to sure. know sure sure okay, to interact cool. with it yeah right. to interact with it so your first interaction would theoretically I should have taken your first perception check but it's fine sure I, mean, yeah, I didn't I even make one but instead I get to roll a twenty nine there you uh, go. How about a 26? No. Yes. Hmm. Remy. <laughs> You're not ready for this. <laughs> you ain't ready. You're not ready. 16. Nice. Okay. And Moss. Uh, I am at... Do I take any negatives on this? I think uh, you do. Yeah, with clumsy, it's clumsy. minus one. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 12. Twelve. Well, technically, Clumsy's only um, Dex, and she's making perception, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, so that so with with my modifier, that's uh, twenty one. Twenty one. All right. So uh, it got a thirty one. So it's going to go again because. He's strong. He a strong boy. I, just... I wish we were meeting. Wait, he rolled a what? Thirty-one. A third, I said twenty-one. I was like, "There's no way." Cool. A thirty-one. So he, uh, and um, he is going to. He's going to spend uh, a fun, fun thing, and he's going to use all three of his fists against one target. Uh, and is going to go against, uh, let's go against Krug again, since he's right up front. It seems like the thing that, uh, 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 it seems like a predator would do he's because of the, the teeth. All right. First, uh, first one is 16 plus 18 is a oh, 30, 34. 34. Yeah. That no. hits. Oh, 34. Four, four plus two is six, uh, 36 crits okay oh no second, Bye. <laughs> second and because he's attacking with all three of his arms his attack bonus doesn't go up because of his special ability he has no. um, his penalty his attack penalty yeah his attack penalty, penalty doesn't go 
There's multiple uh, attack bonus. That's the most Jesus open thing Christ. in the world. Um, 18 plus 14 is 30. That's 34, I think. Damage? No, no, no. To hit. Second attack. Oh. Uh, also crits. All My right. AC is 24. Uh, 18 plus 18, so that's a third crit. Krug is about to, Krug is about to just melt. Yep. Actually, because the first hit, if it brings him to zero, the next two just hit. Yep. Right? Uh, like, the next two would, like, I mean, would be a, a failed... The chat is very funny right now, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, Krug Kaz needs to get in the Krug get the fuck out stance. Four stance. Krug needs to get in the in the GTFO stance. Oh. Krug is in on the floor stance. <laughs> yep, I'm 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 down. Ooh, oh, hundred percent down. Do Wait, not enough to survive this, huh? Are you down from the first hit? I don't know. Uh, I haven't heard how much damage. Oh, oh I thought, okay, that's what you're reacting to. Um, sixteen plus, um, sixteen plus fifteen is thirty-one plus, um, eight, which is thirty-nine. Does thirty-nine take you down? Yep. Okay, good. Because there's that. That's uh, that's only uh, that's before I I double it because of the crit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The first hit knocks him down. Does that mean the next two are just each a failed death save? Uh, no, because this is all counts as a single attack. So this is it. Oh, basically, okay. they spend two actions to make three attacks. Yeah. Okay. That cool. counts as a single, single instance of damage, which is usually the case when uh you don't add up the multiple attack penalty, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it's going to make its final action. Uh, going to go against uh Robin. <sighs> It 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 could one shot me if it crits. That's insane. Uh, nineteen plus um, it's gonna crit. It's gonna crit. Well, what's eighteen minus five? That would be thirteen. Thirteen. So eighteen. Nineteen plus thirteen. Wait, but your multiple your, pull, your multiple attack penalty doesn't go up two steps. Um, for making three attacks. Probably it, not. It should be at 10, shouldn't it? Actually, right. actually, uh, thank you for making me read this further. No more than two of them can be against the same target. Oh. So, so the last one was going to go, we'll go against Robin. No matter what. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what you just rolled then? For fairness? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll <laughs> just, just, just keep it fair. Yeah. So it's 19. But it's, zero, it's minus zero. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that was. Yes. Yeah. So that's a crit. Yeah. What the fuck is this thing? I think it might be a living landslide. Oh no. 21 plus 8 is 29 times 2 equals uh, 58 hit points. What the fuck? Fill up. <laughs> what the fuck? But Sorry. now it has the final Jake action, right? Now. Now it's final action and it's going to go again. Yeah, because what Jake just read was like uh, the three attack one that happens with with two actions. Only you can only have two of them go for per one person. Okay. So the so third, one, the third one, attack, attack one that will have the attack penalty, and that'll also go to me. And probably. then this one, this is the final action that will have an attack penalty. Okay. Yes. Yep. Uh, minus I, ten though, right? Not minus yeah, five. Yeah, minus ten, and I rolled a two, so uh, ten doesn't hit. Correct. <laughs> so is your turn, Robin? Okay. Um, I'm just thinking about spells here. Because I don't think I would like to do this fight as a DPS contest. I don't really want to try to do more damage to it than it does to us. And I kind of want to find another way out of this. So I'm trying to see if I can. Um... I'm just a dog right now. God. Um, bark at it. Bark, 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 bark. Yeah. I'm going to demoralize. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, you demoralize it. And then when it gets to my turn, I will try to disarm it. We're, we'll do all the stuff that, that's really good. The best part about it is uh, it accidentally took out the person that is the best equipped against it. <laughs> yeah. That is like the best part. <laughs> um, 
Oh, I wonder if this. Well, did I see what it was before it knocked me the fuck out? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like a big rock. it's a giant three arm, three legged rock. That we're not guys. supposed to be saying the f word, crew. Yeah, I but I got two shots, so I, <laughs> I get a pass. I definitely also swore like very early on. Oopsies. Yeah. Oopsie, I did early. We are Paizo affiliated. <laughs> <laughs> but I got two shot. Um. Yeah, I don't. You know, I mean, I've had this prepared since we've been doing mining. It could be useful here. Um. Oh. Oh, yeah. roll, roll mining lore. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh. Oh God. <sighs> um. Yeah, okay. I'm going to turn back into Robin and I'm going to use my remaining two actions. I think it takes an action to turn back. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to have two actions and I'm going to cast Expeditious Excavation. Um, or can I touch the ground underneath this landslide? It's not a landslide. I will tell you. Oh, that right this now. rock. Can I touch the, the ground underneath this creature? Uh, I mean, what's the radius that it needs to be? Like I, I need no, I need to be within range of touch. I'm wondering if I can touch if I'm adjacent to. The, oh, I have to be right. If it just yeah, it's a medium sized creature, so oh. yeah. And yes, so Robin is going to turn back, and while she's still like on all fours, now in gnome form, just going to slap the ground underneath it, and it is going to make a reflex save or acrobatics check. Okay. Against DC of twenty two. Uh, I, you're not going to believe me. 23. No! I rolled a 12 and it has an 11. All right. Well, I remove the the like ground underneath it uh, in a five-foot cube. And the creature is unaffected and can choose to either descend the pit without damage or move to the nearest available space of its choice. Okay. It's going to move to the space uh, available to it. All right. It's going to be like where Krug's body is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that is my turn. I am at twenty hit points. All right, that brings us to Drunky Moss. <laughs> get Krug up first. Before I think. we get too far away from it, Murphy Pop made a Harry Warden reference in the chat, which I'm pretty sure is my bloody Valentine. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, that's so. That's. The, I mean, the movie, right? The movie My Bloody Valentine yeah. like 3D, the one with freaking Dean Winchester or whatever. Jensen Eccles or whatever. Eccles. Eccles. Jensen Eccles. Um, I just, I just. Yeah, that's him. I've, I haven't thought about that movie since I saw it in theaters. Uh, okay, sorry, Mom. Go Wait, ahead. Not that Stephen Miller. No, right. not that Stephen Miller. Krug is, help me take stock of everybody's everything. Krug's down. Yeah. Robin, <laughs> Robin is very bloodied. Twenty Krug's unconscious, and the Rock is standing over Krug's body. Yep. Okay. Uh, remind me if I heal Krug, it will only get him to one, right? Since he's down. No, no, no. If you oh, if no. you full on heal me, I get to be that he that health. That oh, is, okay. I'm basically at zero right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna do level three heal then. Yeah. A, a two action or three action heal. Three action heal. Okay. So I mean, how many times have you seen that movie? Why is it on your mind, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> how do you remember that name out of nowhere? I, mean, I told it was three months ago. So, I suppose. Uh, so, so, Valentine's so, Day was a week ago. Also, Murphy Pop does that like genre <laughs> film yep. fest like sure, stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm done. I'm done now. I'm so sorry, Moss. I'm done. It's okay. <laughs> um why I cannot I can never scroll. Remind me what I need to use for. It's level just three. d8s. It's d8s. It's a okay. depending on what level of spell you you roll. I can it, tell you if you're doing a level three heal for three actions, then you will roll. Uh, ba, da, 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 as it's gonna be three d8. Um, plus nothing. Yeah. Wait. Oh wait. The three action is. The three action is the radius. No, yeah, the three action is the radius, but it's the the uh, um the spell level is how much d8s. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, if you want to just heal Krug for as much as you can, you would want no, to do I want two. No, I want to heal everybody. Okay, cool. Then, then yeah, so it would be three d8. Eight. 
eight and six. Okay. Twenty four. Uh, yep. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think you had it right, Jake. Don't listen to Jonas. Just, just I'll take twenty four. Yeah. Jonas doesn't not? know anything about math. Like no. Thanks. Thank you, Moss. <laughs> Cool. Well, I'm there now. All right. Uh, that is all three of Moss's actions. Remy, it is your turn. Um, I'm going to roll mining lore. Okay. Honestly, maybe not a bad idea about this thing. <laughs> Just like figure out maybe like what this is, Ooh, way to handle it, you know? I don't know. Roll mining lore to see what that rock over there is. Not the one we're fighting, that one. Mining lore. Um... <laughs> Mine would be it's intelligence plus trained, so mm -hmm. like our proficiency. Yeah, so it'd be eight plus eight plus intelligence. Um, right, because okay. you're level six or level five. So that'll be twenty nine. Nope, nineteen. <laughs> My brain, nineteen. Nineteen. Significantly different. Um, so very similar to uh, what Krug had researched earlier about, uh, you know about sod hounds and you know about living landslides, you know for a fact that this is not either of those. Is this a demon? Maybe it's an illusion. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, it felt like an illusion. When okay, well, so one one action to do the, the mining war. Uh, Remy's gonna equip shield whoa <laughs> da, 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 da. okay remy just remy like, sees like crew get like one shot just like and is like standing there like the ah uh, and like slowly reaches for the shield on their back okay <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so one action to put your shield on. What else would you like to do? You get two more. Well, was the war was the mining lore not an action? Nah. Cool. Oh, okay, if that's the case, then I'm gonna. Uh, I guess I'll run in. And. Um. Everybody got healed from moss, so I'm just gonna try to flank this thing for like for Krug or whatever. Okay. See if I can get some flat footed action going on. I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna do one attack. Go for it. Wait, can't you charge and do two or no? No. Okay. No, that's uh, that's to close distance while also getting an attack. Oh off. right, okay. I'm gonna use a hero There's point. There's a barbarian thing. Let's you charge and do two. Using a hero point. Well, it's a little better. <laughs> it's a little better. Uh, yeah. So that's gonna be twenty-five to hit. It meets. It beats. 25. Oh yikes! Twenty-five was the AC. Twenty-five. Okay. Doable. I mean that's fine. I did roll rather low, so that's not horrible. Yeah. Okay. All I mean, right. That's basically rolling a nine um, for me. Uh oh, my sword is a D eight when I'm not Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it's two D eight, but mm -hmm. okay. Um uh well average. Damn. Exactly. That's fine. Um twelve. That's gonna be twelve damage then. Okay. Slashing. Who knows if that even does anything on this thing? Yeah. Your sword hits into it, and it it seems to hit the rocks and and leave a gash into the rocks. Guy, oh yeah. shoot! I I I forgot. I it's been so long. I have to raise shield. I forgot. I have to do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have it. You're not using it now. Yeah, I've got my shield. <laughs> it's like all right. <laughs> Here we go. Guile from the back yells, um, "It's a Zorn." Uh, and tells you, let's see how much he remembers from that. Not a lot. Um, all right, I'll give you the option. Would you like to know one immunity, one resistance, or one weakness? Weakness. weakness. Right? Weakness? Weakness. Uh, it, he says, it's weak to bludgeoning. Uh -huh. it. Come on. All right. Come on. Everybody <laughs> I have health. Let's do it. YOLO. All right, it is now the Zorn's turn. Yikes, I'm not gonna have health anymore. Wait, did Krug it, get it? Didn't Krug? Krug hasn't gone, or no, did he? Did we skip? Because he Krug, was down. Krug's a, Krug's initiative. Uh, well, because technically Krug should have made a death save. Um, right, but got, well, but was he up by his turn? Because 
He I would, forgot. He, what's the rule? Does it oh, go right after the Because it moves the before the, the monster that, that knocked me down, isn't it? Oh, isn't so then it is? it's your turn. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was waiting to see if anybody in chat was like, no, that was in the play test because I, I couldn't always remember. Confused. Honestly, I couldn't remember if it was right before or right. I don't know. Dayton's here now. Dayton. True. Dayton's here. <laughs> I think All it's right. right before. Before. Um, it's right before. It's right before. Thank you, Dayton. Nice. Easy. All right. Well, okay. So am I up for uh, it has um, it's weak. It's weak to bludgeoning. Yes, because Guile goes before it. Or nice. at the end. I'm 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 going to flurry of blows. We're going to just punch it repeatedly. So so you two are currently occupying the same space. And oh, and you're... I'm also not. Uh, I'm gonna. I have to stand first. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna stand first. Okay. Um, uh, is am I still in its space? Do I do I have to move out of its like? Can it when share the move, space with me? You move, when you stand up, you move out of. You okay. basically take a step back. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, okay, okay. Fl flurry of blows. Oh, if that doesn't hit, I'm gonna cry so hard. Um, uh, 35. Uh, 35. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Oh, Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Hold on. Oh, thirty-five. Hold on, Krug. Krug, hold on. Because it is now flat-footed, oh. its AC is technically a 23. Ha-ha! So, so it doesn't matter. 34 does, in fact, crit. Nice. Yeah. Punch through it, I Krug. did a tactical thing. <laughs> I'm my shield. <laughs> and then the next one is... Uh, the next one's 23. Okay, 23 hits. So this is... Crit. One right? attack. 23, no, 23, 23, 23, 23 meets. 23, 23 total. Okay, my brain. Yeah, my yeah. brain, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so the crit damage is going to be... Uh, the JC is 23, right? Uh, 19 times 2. Um, I'm really just terrible at math. 19 times 2, 38. Okay, 38 plus 8 is 46. And then this... That was one hit? Correct. Uh, and then this is 8 plus 4, 12. 14. Oh, 12, yeah. That, that's it. So just 46 plus 12. So 58. 58. Damn. That's a good punch. Two punches? Yep. Cool. Good couple punches. So Krug... That, that Krug two separate hits, right? Te no, that was one instance of damage. That was Flurry of Blows. Uh, 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 uh. Which is... Uh, in this one specific case, unfortunate, but we're going to make yes. another attack. Yes. All right. Uh, that's your first action. So Krug gets up and just like two in its chest and then tries to hit it across the face. Uh, this minus eight is eight. Plus 15 is... 23. 23. It meets a beats. Nice. And yeah. Second instance of damage uh, for eight plus four, 12. Boom. 12, uh, which would be plus whatever the weakness is. Mm -hmm. Weakness 40. Let's go. Ooh, okay, cool. It is still alive. It is still oh, alive. If it was weakness 40, you could do 41 damage by just me punching it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, and, and then I wait for the sweet release of death. Yep, as it was originally going to go after Remy because Remy was the one that made damage, but now. Now it's going back to the puny, unarmored creature that originally he took down. <laughs> uh -oh. um, he's going to use his two-action thing again. So uh, I wish I had that. If, if that's still a thing, I wish I had that feat like that paladins can get or like champions can get. I don't know. It was in the playtest where like if someone, it's like attack of opportunity, but it gets triggered by someone attacking a nearby ally. Oh, yeah. Retributive strike is really good, yeah. Yeah, I wish I had retributive strike. That I, I would use that so much. 30 on the nose. Uh, yeah, that, uh, be, believe it or not, beats my AC. But is it a crit? That's what I'm asking. Oh, no, no, Ooh. no. Okay. Second one. Oh, I have weakness. What, does weakness, I mean, it's still not going to be a, a crit, but. So the second hit was a 19 plus 18. So that one is a crit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. All right. And then the last hit is gonna go to Remy. Uh ooh, wow. I rolled low that time. Uh 18 plus 3 is 21. I'm gonna say that, that does not hit. Yeah. 
So, and I don't even have my shield raised. <laughs> you probably don't need it. What's yeah, the condition probably. that you get when you die? Oh, wounded, 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 wounded. wounded. Not weakness. Oof. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> 17 plus 8. So uh, take uh, 25 damage, your first attack. That was the non crit. Wow. Wait, doesn't it bring you down? You healed for like 22, right? I thought it was 32. Oh, well, mm -hmm. then I'm down. Yeah, no, it was 20 something. I mean, let's be honest, regardless, I'm down. <laughs> so right. now are you down too? Huh? Yes. He, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, no, I have to make a save actually, which mm -hmm. I didn't well, do on, on the last one. Sure, sure. Well, when you well, go you down, I'm, when I'm go. dying. When you... I'm I'm dying two by default, but I could be dying three. Mm -hmm. But you don't roll till your turn comes around, right? Don't you do one right when you go down? No, not when you go down. Oh no, never mind. I mean, you'd think you would remember doing actually, that. Actually, actually, uh, uh, Dayton's is actually one. Uh, oh yeah, that's crit. true. It was a crit. So you're dying three. So dying three. if you fail one saving throw, you you die for real. Right, 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 right. You have a, we have hero points. We have hero points. <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah, I have a hero point. Yeah. All I'm right, that brings, us back Good. To, that brings us back to Robin. I mean, I'm going <laughs> to... Remy, you didn't get hit, right? <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, I didn't get it, no. And I'm... Hmm. It doesn't not have one more attack. Because it does the triple attack, which is two actions, and then doesn't have one more. It can. Oh, that's not Dayton, by the way, guys. I know. Well, Dayton has been talking, but this is Devon. Did we say Dayton? I think I did. Oh. <laughs> said Dayton. Oh, okay. Well, you or De Don? <laughs> I said. Oh, sorry. Oh, Don. Gotcha. I see the D, and then I immediately go. Uh, anyways, yeah. um, yeah. So it um, is. It is Robin's turn. What would you like to do? Good. Um, I am going to. I'm going to do a two-action, third-level heal spell at Krug. Okay. Just, and heal him for... Up and down all over the place. 3d8 <laughs> plus 24. That is 8, 13, 14 plus 24 is 38. Um, plus one for my staff, so 39. Nice. <laughs> what level I spell can't... was it? What? What level spell was it? Third level, two action. Uh, so that's actually one point of healing additional per level spell. Ooh. Oh, cool. So plus two more. Nice. So 41 40 HP. 41. And then with my third action, I'm going to move back to where I assume Moss and Guile are. All right. That makes sense. Yep. Chat sure has does. decided Dayton is a title now. The person in our, in our chat who's answering questions now always has the title Dayton. Apparently, great. Yes, yeah, is Dayton Don? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Dayton, Don. Dayton in the chat telling us that um, <laughs> Moss, it is your turn. It would probably help if I was not muted. True. Where are we at on healthy health? Is um, I'm I mean, okay. I'm running away immediately. Like Krug, you can see Krug looks fucking terrified. Right Krug, right. don't run away like a coward. Well. <laughs> I mean, can we realistically take this thing down? Yeah, yeah. but I can't yeah. help anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm, your guys' turn. Yeah, that's okay. a good point. Crew drops again and he dies. Yep. <laughs> I mean, should I... Should no I... Matter. heal Krug, probably. <laughs> heal, yeah. Krugity, Krugity, Krug. I heal you Maybe again. It... Yeah, it's... If you were to heal... Like do do the area heal again for the same amount, which is I guess unlikely because he rolled really high. I would be at full. I don't know where Krug would be. It might be fine to just heal him doubly. Mm, Moss, roll me an intelligence roll. No, 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 no. no. Maybe. no. Uh oh, not bad at all. Uh, I rolled an 18. Uh, do, does the negative affect yep. my modifier? Yep. So okay, it's, so it's, it's an um, uh, uh, You know that if you use an AoE effect, uh, it will heal this creature. 
Uh, oh, okay. dang. And the first time it was uh, the AOE was used, it was not hurt. So it didn't matter. Okay. okay. Um, then I'm just going to heal Krug. Uh, Good idea. Is my second level an AOE too? Is just my first level a direct heal? No, no, no. So your heal, depending on what level you want to use it, it can be either a touch, it can be a range touch, or it can be an AOE. So okay, if you cool. use your if you use your level three two action heal, you'll do three D eight plus yeah. I'll do 24. level two. I'll do level two and then for my third action I can I'll shield. Okay. So that's gonna be two D eight plus sixteen. Three seven. So 10 plus 16, so 26 hit points, Krug. How close to uh, being two shot versus one shot are you? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty close to two shot. I'm 67. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then Moss, your third action is shield? Mm -hmm. Cool. Krug, uh, or sorry, Remy, your turn. All right, well, I heard that like its weakness is bludgeoning. Like Giles yelled that out. Punch yep. it! So I guess I'll drop my sword and just punch this thing. Okay. Why'd you laugh? Wait, bash it with your shield. <laughs> That's probably a feat. I think it's I think it does more damage if I just punch it. Probably. Because fighters are pretty good at unarmed combat, right? You you're you're slightly better at hitting with unarmed combat later in the game. Right now, your punches are objectively weaker than mine. Like you deal less damage. It's harder for you to hit. You can't do as many. What's my What's my modifier to just punching? Can someone strength. help me? It's your strength. Also, it's chat is literally strength. screaming at you. Yeah, to, you're, you're gonna. So you're gonna get a minus bash. two. Shield bash. Be, shield bash? Because, Wait, I can shield bash. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just a thing you can do. I think uh, if you want to use it like uh, at optimum effectiveness there's like a, a thing you can buy and attach to your shield to make it like better as a weapon oh, okay but I, well then... i'm pretty sure you can do shield bash regardless all right same 1d4 same as my fists wait so your fists is minus two versus your shield at the same damage yeah so and, my shield doesn't give, you, give me a minus two but they do the same amount of damage yep. correct okay um and when i did cut it with my sword it looked it looked like i heard it right mm -hmm. oh maybe i shouldn't drop my sword maybe i should just keep well it's a d because yeah it's like i do it i do 2d8 with this sword and i would just be doing 1d4 with a shield plus a number that you don't know what it is plus yeah plus whatever the weakness yeah. number is well that yeah it's up to you. It's just whether or not you think it has resistance to slashing is the whole the whole point, right? Well, it seemed like I heard it, and it was mad at me. Screw it. Mm. If you don't think it has resistance to it, just keep slashing it. Or if you think its resistance would still make it better than punching it or bashing I, it, I'll bash it with my shield. I'll do it. I dropped the sword already. I'm uh, uh, Remy's in full full sure. on love in the shield mode. It's pretty it. uh, thematically cool. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> You take your shield, the very rare time that you actually use your shield. It doesn't uh, matter. <laughs> you, you go to hit it. Uh, roll your strength. Uh, so it's just it's just strength. I don't add any proficiencies or anything. Correct. Because it's like an improvised weapon. Mm -hmm. Just strength. Oh, I could crit, though, if I had my sword. There's so many layers to this. What is this, a tactical oh, game? are proficient you because you have a shield you use a shield and you're trained in shields oh okay, okay. am i am i a master in them <laughs> is my question go to your uh build i think uh, shield isn't or a weapon oh. but a, ma a maneuver in which you thrust or swing your shield to hit a foe with an impromptu attack um i don't know how what that means rules wise to be honest the other offense but same number as sword minus the rune bonus. Which oh, okay. Then. All right. I'm going to do this. Okay. It's Marshall. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a master in my weapons. William. Look at this. View actions on the offense page? Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. All, so right. all right. All right. All right. All right. 
their expert. I'm master. <laughs> Stop saying I'm expert. I'm, I'm master. I swear. I swear I'm master. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> right. What did you get? What did you get? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. If, 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 uh, I am master, then I just roll a thirty-three. Okay, thirty-three hits, thirty-three crits. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's, that's what I right. thought. Shield bash. <laughs> it's chill bash. D four plus strength. Why? Why am I? Why am I rolling two? Okay, so I rolled a two. Cool. Plus, plus strength, strength. So six. six. Doubled. Doubled. Twelve. Twelve uh, bludgeoning damage. <laughs> wow. So strong. Uh, it is still alive. Oh my All right, I'm gonna bash it again. <laughs> Do it. All right. Let's give it a shot, everyone. Here we go. I'm gonna use a hero. Point. <laughs> um okay then that's gonna be 26 26 hits okay but it's not a crit okay and that's gonna be well <laughs> that's like, okay, six damage six bludgeoning damage bang bang remy describe how the shield goes through the body of this creature and destroys it Yes. So Remy drops the sword bam, and is bam. like, and is like the bludgeoning. I have to, and just like takes the shield and is like basically like football checking this mm -hmm. thing, like trying to destroy it with the shields. Like, oh, this I want the and like kind of is like it's doing something. Just shields are worthless, and then and like it just like hits it and it like and like crumbles, like cracks for a moment, and the thing goes like there's a, a cartoon moment where it like looks to camera and goes. Uh, and then <laughs> and it breaks apart uh from from the cracking area of where the shield bashed into it and then remy goes like i mean like oh, st still my sword could have done that let's be real the and the the rock crumbles around remy as it like bites down uh the gems just crack and shatter into dust and it cascades all across uh, the ground. Uh, and Guy walks over and, and says, Hooey! I've never really seen one of these be so aggressive before. Normally we just talk to them and they go away. Krug bleeds profusely and lays down on the ground. Wait, normally um, you just talk to them and they go away? Yeah. They speak common. What? What? That thing There's speaks common? What? Why? It didn't say a word. D are they very territorial? I mean, as long as you're not harming them, they're usually fine. Is it possible that others have been harming them? Like maybe this poor fellow, uh, well, maybe not a poor fellow, but this this, this person here, um, has, people have been harming them, and so they just see us as akin to the threat? It's quite possible. Um, or maybe there was some sort of magic afoot. What Let was the thing called again? A Zorn, which is X O R N. X. Okay. Uh, can I oh, recall look. knowledge on a Zorn? Sure. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try. Uh, can you can you describe it again? Uh, three eyed, three legged, three arm leader. Three arm, three leg, three eyed, a uh, giant rock monster that has uh, rocks and diamonds and jewels uh, for teeth. Wait, do they? It's... Are they loose? No, they, they already disintegrated into dust. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. If you go, if you go back and watch, I went like this. I was very sad. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll Arcana. Okay. That. Okay. I want to. This is like a. Yeah. I I want to roll something for this too, but I'm gonna think about it while can we rolls. can we do like nature to see. I was thinking nature to see like what I think nature and someone should do Arcana or something to see if there's some sort Krug's of magical. Arcana, I think. Oh, yeah. Krug's doing Arcana. I'm trained now. Remember, I spent all that time Krug's researching. Down. Okay. Krug, oh wait. Uh, I'm gonna roll nature, and yeah, I, I'm I kind of want to roll nature to see like to look into that hunch that I had just suggested and see if I can like tell anything from its like behavior being like a living creature. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. So uh, Krug roll your arcana and Robin roll your 
Um, roll your nature. I got 25. Uh, you know that these creatures uh, are sometimes ha uh, very helpful for spellcasters and arcana because they use them to help them dig and find gems and jewels, but they are not created from magic. Do they use them as in like, uh, like tame them or do they like enthrall them? As in they, well, it depends on the person. I mean, there are but some places which that will like, like basically cast a spell on them and make them do it. Well, some right. will be like, hey, if you do this for me, I'll do something for you. you so know, they, they're it's generally different. open to negotiation. Like they, yep. that's so they weird. are like, okay. Um, I also rolled a 25 for nature. And one, one question specifically is like, I want to know if they have a society. Maybe that would need a society role, but um, yeah, um, 25. Th they're pretty solitary creatures um, for the most part. Uh, but um, you know that these are, in fact, uh, natural occurrences within the world. These are things that happen. They are primarily very neutral creatures. Okay. Hmm. Did anything seem off about this one? Or was it just in a mood? Mm, I, I mean, you can't really tell because, you know, you, you kind of went straight into trying to kill it, which makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, I down Krug immediately. So yeah, 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 which is completely understandable to to want to yeah. do that. Um, this is definitely outside of normal behavioral neutral rock creatures, and Guile right. even assists you with that, and and is telling you that it's wild, it's weird. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. they'll even help help them mine. Uh, for them, uh, like when they're trying to mine, they'll help. Uh, if they get a percentage of of gems and stuff like that. Sure. Uh, additional question. I don't know if my 25 in Arcana would, would, I don't even know if Arcana would let me know this, but um, is this like the general strength of one of these things or is it stronger or weaker than what this we would normally? Average. Hmm. Cool. Um, <laughs> so, well, look, I mean, I think if we, uh, maybe we just try to find more and talk to them because here's the thing, if they're willing to be talked to, they probably know things, right? And it can yeah, but what if here. we run into more that are agitated like this? Like, I mean, yeah. I don't think we should continue killing them. No, no, no. I, but I am concerned that we run into another one. That I'm so sorry to interrupt your conversation, but can one of you just deal with the blood that's coming out of my head, please? Yeah, sorry. There's so much just, of it. If y'all can send watch like 10 minutes, I can see to everyone. Oh, yeah. No, I'm fine. I was not touched whatsoever. I'm going to treat wounds. Kruga looks at Remy and goes, yeah, it's because it knew who the threat was. Oh, I'm sorry. Who crumbled it? <clears throat> Kruga's brushing uh, the dirt off of his <laughs> hands, his bare hands, his un unarmed hands. And you know what? I, I uh, Surprisingly, it was with this flimsy, tiny shield here. <laughs> if I was using my sword, I'm sure it would have happened much sooner. Yeah, I'm sure sword's the best weapon to use against rocks, right, Remy? Well, sword beats rock. Are you trying to make a rock, paper, scissors reference? It is not the reference. It is the truth. It is fact. Sword beats rock. No, no. Because in the game, rock beats the weapon. The weapon beats no, the paper. No, you are, the paper you are the rock. changing the rules. Rock beats scissors. Sword beats rock. Remy, explain to me how rock beats scissors. Or how rock well, beats... Wait, what did you say? I'm, now I'm confused. <laughs> Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, paper beats rock, sword beats rock, fire melts sword, water puts out fire, man inherits the earth. You know, there's really... <laughs> Robin, I, don't, I think you're making it worse. I think I'm having hallucinations now. <laughs> All right. Robin, uh, what did you me, get? Well, I'm pulling it up. Yeah, I... It, okay, so... I, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to attempt, because I'm an expert, I'm attempting the next tier. Oh, okay. Of it. Um, let me check my medicine score really quick. And that is 14. So I rolled a 26, uh, 27. Uh, and Wait, are you healing me or are you treating wounds or is, are they wounds. the same thing? So we're taking 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, treating wounds. And yeah, for DC 20, it's going to be plus 10. And I only rolled a regular success. So 2d8 plus 10, and you are no longer wounded. At all? Or do I just lose one? The wounded condition is removed. Oh, yeah, dude. That's um, the best. That's what I wanted. Cool. That is really only 2d8 plus. Okay, so 18. 
18 health? Yep. I'm I'm one away from full. We're chilling. And cool. I'm not winning. Uh, Life's good. You didn't get hit any, right? Cracked. I'm gonna mm, 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 mm. Do we want it? I, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're it's fine. fine. I don't need it. It would be nice to bring you up to full. Well, you can yeah. do battle medicine, can't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could. So, yeah, in fact, yeah, or we're walking. Robin doesn't want to like say anything or distract or anything. So just like when we go off, she's just gonna like make sure no one's watching and just like give herself a little check. And I am gonna do <laughs> battle medicine on myself. <laughs> um you all still smell a very, very bad smell of death. And it's not coming from this body that was right in front of us. Some of it's coming from it, but it's more than just this. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Where did the, the Zorn come from? Uh, it, it, it came right? from above shaped, us, right? It shaped itself to look like the room. I'm also oh. one away from Max Krug. <laughs> That's not great. Um, um, can we, can, if we continue on forward, because there is that smell of death, is there a possibility that someone would be able to take full on like Zorn duty, like trying to? Oh, mm. sure, yeah, I can definitely zone in on that activity. Um, yeah, I, I think that's I, here's what I'm thinking. We want to look out for them, be ready for them to come, and I think it is likely that we will come across an aggressive one. I think it might be a good time for us to practice some de-escalation tactics. Moss, do you feel up to that? I can do anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can. You go, girl. Um, well, listen, it's, uh, you know, maybe uh, I can speak to them too as, as creatures of nature of some kind, right? So, um, do I, I mean, they speak common. They speak we can, common. So we, we can all speak to, to them, them as creatures like, of nature. Hey, we're not with whoever you're mad at. We're here to help you and people. Just talk to us. Talk to us, please. It's going to be yeah, a little bit I'm... harder now that we've killed one of them. It but it was self defense, right? It was clearly self. Well, I don't know if I, if somebody killed one of you in in quote unquote self defense, and they came to me and they were like, "Hey, we killed the, we killed Krug in self defense." I would not take it easy. I would I would soar. I would take a sword out and dis, and defeat their rock. You well, know. Let's try and let it come up then, if we can. Right, right. It, we we found it like that. We found it like that. It no, was like I killed that. We it. Came to we came to tell you that... I no. took a shield and I bashed it to death. Oh, I wish you could lie, babe. I can lie. Would you no, all... You can. Can. <laughs> That's a rough question. Wait, what? What, what was that? Uh, uh, whether we want to go deeper. Yeah. Oh, yes. I think so. I think we should... Yeah, so out of character, I think we should try to search. find more Zorn and hope that we can talk to them, but we should be prepared to run. It, it should be talk or run with fight as an absolute last resort. That's what I'm thinking. We need to find more of the death scent. Yeah. Um, we know where that's... Why why that's there, where it's coming from, what's going on. You move further in... Well, you... Sorry, before we keep going further in, can I... Uh, did we finish investigating this body? Like, are we sure that the Zorn killed like, it? Was, like, crushed on the ground? Yeah, okay. It, it, was there anything interesting on it? Like, all right, cool. Moving I remember Robin did thing. like something. Yeah, I, I sniffed around it a lot. Um, do you want to do like a general perception? It, yeah. This, this is the GM telling you to move forward into okay. the dungeon. Cool. <laughs> 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 Nothing uh, to see here. Moving along. As you move further into the dungeon, or into the, into the, into the, <laughs> into the <laughs> uh, you open up into a larger open space. And in the center of the room, you see a single female orc with a dagger in her back. What? Wait, and does the, it can, I, can I roll perception and see if it looks like the the revenant? Go for it. I because I've got a I've had a clear look at the revenant. Was the revenant an orc? I don't remember. Yeah, I, I just yeah. described it as a revenant, but it is an orc. Cool. Oh, what a wow. Is it 26? Wow. 26. Nice. It looks exactly like the <gasps> Revenant. <gasps> With the, oh, <gasps> the, Remy, Remy like is fumbling so excitedly and trying to pull out their pipe. And it's like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Robin gets it for you and puts it in your mouth. The, the, the Bash Willow. <laughs> it has solved another case. Well, okay. This is the Revenant, Baki. <gasps> and then holds the pipe. Uh, we should and... approach with caution and that is where we're going to take our break we'll be back in, <laughs> we'll be back in a couple minutes see you all soon damn i can't
Welcome back, everyone, to a second half of Court of Court. <laughs> Jonas on Twitter at Jonas Newhouse. This water bottle of tequila is treating me right. Mm. Anyways, um... <laughs> I feel like that'd be hard to clean out. That's what Michael's special stuff was. <laughs> yeah, Michael's special stuff. Who's Where Michael? Jordan? Yeah, Michael Jordan. You know, from, from Space Jam. Space Jam? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's perfect because each little squirt is like one shot, you know. Mm. It's uh, perfect. Seems, seems like you just took three shots. Mm. <laughs> three shots of water. The tequila's right here. It's exactly water. Anyways, um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yes, so you all see the body of what seems to be Scarlet with a dagger in her back. Is the body standing on its feet or on the ground? It's laying down on the ground. It's, oh, it's a dead body. Dead. I was literally Scarlet, picturing like, Scarlet, again? Very, yeah. Scarlet again. That's the Revenant. Yeah. 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 Is that, do we know for sure? Or that's just like a really solid hunch. No, I rolled really good okay. on my perception and it's it well, no, I mean, exactly the same. Looks the same. Do we know that that is Scarlet though? We know that Scarlet is for sure the person. Yes, the the, the guard okay. told us that. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. I then, want, I want to cool. I want to do a perception check of the area, and before yeah, we I, walk, before we get too close to the body. Same, because I was gonna be like kind of scouting for uh, Zorn as is we go. Is the Revenant the body, or does the Natural Revenant 20. come out of the body? Oh, it's like a it's, it's like a it's like a spirit from the body. Okay, and and it's like it's like ghostly. Gotcha. Dang it. <laughs> so it. It, it rises from the body every night is the idea mm -hmm. cool wait um, can i turn the dim i only screen? rolled a 21 i got a, a natural freaking 20 we're totally wow. what about that can you see it now <laughs> for uh, it what, what's what's this for uh perception i'm looking for zorn it, it looks like there are no zorn in the room cool are there other ways to this room other than where we just came from nope cool Okay, wait, how about this? It's just far away. <laughs> yeah, it's a natural 20, though. It's it is, I promise. 20. And then that was natural for 20. searching for Zorn as well, or what was that for? My, my, yeah, natural 20 plus 9. Plus 9, so yeah. 29 then? So 29, but it's... Um, I didn't mean to tell you that one. <laughs> uh, it's... I'm, I'm not... Yeah, kind of searching for Zorn. I just want to like make sure there aren't like traps or like a magic... Like I just want to make sure we're not like walking into a trap. That's really it. Um, I will say with the uh, with a natural twenty crit and a twenty nine total, the trap was the Zorn that you had already gone through. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I've confirmed we are walking into a trap. We have walked into a trap. Yep. You had walked into a trap. We, we had walked into a trap. There was a trap. Okay. We walked into but it. Doesn't it. seem like there's anything else because they figured the Zorn was going to take care of things. Mm -hmm. So okay, the Detective Ash Willow pulls out their pipe. Who I'm would gonna... like to do the inspection of the body? Yeah, I'm, maybe I'm already walking up to the body. <laughs> I would Probably. like to, without touching the anything, just look at the dagger. I want to see if there's anything distinct about the dagger. Um, you can see that the dagger is a very ornate dagger. It is not a simple like wooden dagger. It is a nice, well-to-do dagger. Um, can I uh, religion? Protect to see sure. if there's some sort of um, ritual nonsense. Ritual nonsense. Ritual nonsense. Moss, uh, as Krug 20, is examining sorry, this, as Krug is examining it, Moss, you hear Cloaky. Hey, uh, hey, Moss. <laughs> Cloaky. Hey, um, uh, I know you and I need to talk, uh, but I don't think this is the time. Can you do me a huge favor and can you give me to Krug? <sighs> I don't know. We'll talk about this later. Very grumpily, Moss stomps over to Krug and like throws Cloaky at him. What? What? Are you okay? Cloaky wants to talk to you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Not Cloaky. Hey, Cloaky, on a scale of one to ten, uh, how messed up is Moss? Oh, oh. Uh, are we talking emotionally, psychologically? Both in that order. Both in that order. I can hear you. 
Um, <laughs> Wait, you don't, know what, you don't know what I asked. You don't know what I asked. You just go. I can what? figure it out. I'm smart, Krug. <laughs> You're drunk. Um, uh, Cookie, Cookie says, um, okay, so, um, so your souls normally have like a little tether to them, right? Oh, y- yeah. Right. Like we've, we've had this conversation like this. Right, right, right. Kind of go from your body to them. This one is attached to the dagger. It's not one of yours, but it's not, the dagger's preventing it from leaving. Ah, I see. So, um, that's interesting. And I, I didn't really think about the, the the way that this kind of affliction would manifest itself but that kind of makes sense doesn't it um is that is that like a symbolic thing or is there magic literally linking that soul to that dagger i don't think the dagger well okay so uh, yeah this is hard to explain um i think that there was a incantation or like a ritual done on the dagger but the dagger itself is not magic like i think it was made to do a specific thing i think if you pull it out the spirit will be released but before you do that we don't know what the ramifications of that is i don't um since we labor under the assumption that uh we all share everything with each other i'm not sharing that if we pull the dagger out the spirit will be released okay um Um, Oh, so, but Moss would have heard it anyways. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a thing. So, uh, l- like I said, you you can you can pull it out, and it will probably stop the revenant issue. But what happens to that soul? Uh, I don't know. Is there a way to get the revenant here? It starts here. I yeah. mean, we aside from just waiting, is there a way for us to bring it here now? I don't know. Fair. Uh, I also got a 25 on my religion to uh, just know more about the dagger, even though Cloakie just explained all that to me. So the dagger itself it, uh, is an ornate dagger, and it looks fancy, but it looks it just looks fancy. Okay. There's no, just a nice dagger. Yeah, there's no... one fancy killed her. Yeah, there was no religious association to it. Like, there was no symbols of Iomade or Iori right. or anything like that. Like, it just was... Okay. That's right. Who knows? Yeah, no, yeah. It's just a very ornate dagger. Could be used for sacrificing, could be used for different things, but it it's not associated directly with a single deity. Uh since since Moss already knows, I'm gonna turn to everyone. Okay. If we pull the dagger out of the body, Cloakie thinks that the spirit's gonna be released, but we don't know what effect that's gonna have on the spirit. Released might be move on to where they're supposed to move on to, released might be vanish into oblivion and never have yeah. a chance at an afterlife which um, or here all the time and something worse yeah so, maybe be able to wander further or for other purposes what you're, what you're saying. To say until we work out what's going on we should just leave that dagger there yeah Is agreed no one touch it no one touch it she's looking right at moss and also remy one on each eye i would never think of that in fact what i am thinking is i mean from the sounds of it we should just wait for 7 p.m., right? I think that's a reasonable idea, yeah. And I think in that time, I mean, we could scour a little bit, see if there's not much, you know, not, not more to learn around here. Sure, um, sure, sure. Um, Giles. Uh, yeah, Giles. what's happening? Uh, so are you freaked out at all that we just came across a body with a dagger in it? Or, like, what's your perspective on this? I mean, not necessarily. I've seen some wild things in these caves. That is true. We did just come across a body that was completely crushed on the ground by a Zorn. So, do you think that it is possible that somebody like either hired the Zorn to like protect the body or something? You know, that's quite possible to be completely honest with you. Dang. Zorn aren't magical creatures, right? Correct. Did was there any like remnant of that Zorn's body after it was killed? Just now? Yeah, I mean it's rubble. It's just rock, though. Like there's nothing. Yeah. Oh, I just want to. I want to go back and do a detect magic on it to see if there was a magical effect on it to see if maybe someone had like magically like enthralled this thing. You know. You head back and you cast it, and you can tell that it's not. Cool. So it was probably paid. Probably, or just 
you know, talked into. Um, or evil. I mean, if if they're normally, you know, kind of kind in the of middle, neutral, people yeah. can be corrupted, you know? And, no, and for sure. I mean, like there's basically a person. There is a wide killed. array that, like, really anybody can be. Yeah. Um, because they, because the revenant is like neutral, neutral, or something like that, or yeah. whatever. So yeah, it's definitely neutral. Lawful, lawful, neutral. Is it? I think it's just neutral, but I'm not. I don't fully remember. I think I remember it being lawful because that was a that was a weird thing that we learned. I can't remember. Um, oh, hey, any of the in chat want to tell me if a revenant is lawful? I neutral? looked at my notes. It's lawful neutral. Cool. Really? Um, Hell yeah! I wanted to yeah. also detect magic on the dagger slash corpse. Mostly the dagger. I'll just focus. What, what are you? What are you using? Uh, detect magic. I want to see if the dagger is magical in nature. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Cool. Um, and I think well, actually, okay. because... I, I'm going to tell you the same piece of information that I told Krug. The dagger yeah. itself is not magical, but okay. a spell was cast upon it. Okay. Cool. So it has a magic effect on it, but and then I also know the school of magic for the highest level effect within 30 feet of this area. So that is, uh, I mean, other than yourselves, mm -hmm. uh, that is the highest magical thing. That There's nothing else magical in this room whatsoever. Cool. It is just this dagger. Uh, and the School of Magic, ha I believe probably it's Abduration. Oh, mm -hmm. it might be Necromancy. That's actually probably more accurate. Well, well that tracks. Yeah, it, it does appear that um, there's some sort of necromantic energy on this dagger um, that was put onto it. So this seems like one of those created on purpose revenants, which is pretty disappointing for whoever did it. I'm very cross with them. Well, I mean, we have a bit of time. Do we want to like settle in and have a little picnic? Oh, I brought berries. Uh, I mean, brought berries, greens and meats. Moss, you can finally fill us in on everything that happened while you were gone. And we, yeah. can, and we can fill you in on all the things that happened while you were gone. Because, I mean, you sort of, we got, kind of just pulled you along on this mining excursion today. Well, so it, it, it makes sense now why you were being all weird about mining stuff. But Well, there is nothing weird about mining stuff. It is, mm. I mean. Uh, it's a perfectly normal profession and very noble, actually. I, yes. for one, after that last time, had had quite enough time of being in the ground, you know, like. But I guess we're just oh, in like, the ground again. I can't imagine having had enough time in the ground, honestly. It's it's just so like it's like warm and cold depending on how you're thinking about it. It's like cozy and you, you're with everything. When you're here and she's like touching whatever wall she can, you are with everything in the world. Do you understand? Yeah. Not, not sunshine. It's like moist and it is dry. What did Moss just say? Not sunshine. Not sunshine. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Feel. Touch it with me, Moss. Put your hand on the wall. Moss, you don't have Ew, to do that. Robin! Put your hand on the wall, Moss. Trust me. Ew, Robin! It's a wall. It's rock. Come on. It's dirty! Okay, fine. Well, just imagine you're touching it, right? This wall keeps going. That way, that way, that way, everywhere. It goes up to the ground. The top soil where we walk. Does the sun not hit it? Would it not stream through its energy to us down here? You're I, with everything. Well, I mean, to that effect, I everything is everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That all yes. the pee that people peed on the ground up there is in the rock, too. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is here. Um, <laughs> or fortunately. Fortunately, depending who you are. I mean, here's the thing. It, is, it is true, babe. There's I mean, no you, judgment here. No, you, you, you've stumbled onto a very important truth, babe. Yes, everything is connected to everything. But here, you can feel it if you open up. And that is very, um, I don't know, it's just something that I like. So what happened with uh, Scott and Mia? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> just, you okay. know, they're just liars. They're liars and they're cheaters. <laughs> did, uh, did they like... Did they challenge you to a sparring match and they, no, and they, they were said, like, oh, no they hitting like, in the face? They were like, Moss, you have the wrong idea. And I was like, I heard you. And they were like, heard us what? Sparring? And I was like, that wasn't sparring. And then, and then Scott said, Moss, I think we need some time apart because you're jumping to too many conclusions. And I said, I just know the truth. Oh my God, Mayu thinks I'm actually upset right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's I, okay. I'm, I'm okay. 
Okay. Um, oh God, Moss, I'm I'm sorry. I mean that. I mean, is it possible that you that you did hear it wrong? No, Remy, they're lying. <laughs> that's not in character. I'm. That's yeah, William yeah. laughing. Well, I mean, she seems she seems pretty sure, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, this is very funny. Listen, uh, if it's too painful, Moss, we don't need to talk about it more. I mean, I, I don't want to talk about it. Anymore. Don't talk about it. I'm, just, I'm just glad you went because here's the thing: you know now, you 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 knew before, but you went, you confronted them, and and you you got the information that you needed, and it hurts, but you'll be better and stronger for this because you know the truth. I mean, does this mean that you and the Cloaky get to be a thing now? How am I going to be with a piece of fabric, Remy? Oh my. <laughs> I haven't given Cloaky back, by the way. I'm still holding Cloaky. <laughs> well, this is I the one this time point, I'm going to continue to wish, hold like, Cloaky. Like, Ernie leans over to Krug and is like, this is the one time in my life I wish I could hear that cloak. Yeah. You, you're you're wrong about that, though. <laughs> hey, Jake. Mm-hmm. You know that five-foot hole that I created? Mm-hmm. Once, like... Moss has come down a little bit. Robin won't will like you know rub, rub her back, soothe her a little bit. Robin is gonna go curl up at the bottom of that hole for ten minutes, and I'm gonna get my focus point back. Sounds smart. Nice. Um, uh, how much time would you say we have before like? Oh yeah, the revenant. I want to roll survival too to see if I know what time of day it is. Oh sure, sure, sure. I would just say just estimating on how long you've been in there. I would say you probably have about five hours. Cool, 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 cool. Oh cool, okay. Cool. You yeah, were still um, you still went out in the morning, you know? Sure, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a 10-minute nap at the bottom of the hole, and then I'm gonna come out and start fixing, I guess, lunch for us. A little bit of a late lunch, yeah, maybe. A late lunch. Yeah. A lunch, even. I mean, it's probably the well, I'll say this in character. So the revenant ended up making it to the city around 7 p.m. every night. So right. this I uh, dependent on how quickly the revenant moves and if she needs to go through like if she can go through walls or whatever or however she needs to get out of the mine um we might be looking at something quite a bit earlier than seven o'clock for this to start so we should be vigilant yeah. at some point but a, a thought just think it should be put out there they had like a whole a whole squadron ready to to fight it in the woods right well, sure, but they didn't. It wasn't really much of a fight. They just showed her her reflection, and she got so upset that she exploded or something. I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we can do that. Then I was going to say maybe we should grab people, but it sounds like maybe not. Apparently, you can talk to a Revenant, but oh, I which mean, is what we're going to try to do, right? I just want to make sure we're, we're on the same page about that. Sure. Yeah. Oh, in the meantime, yes. Yeah, so you go, you go do your nap. Mm. We will we will have lunch. In the meantime, Krug, uh, Moss, and I could try to figure out the, a way to um, prevent her from leaving when so that we can actually talk. Because I actually she... have one thing I need to do real quick, but I'll 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 be back in a second, and I'm gonna walk out of the cave. Um. Okay. Okay. So, just all right. You'll be you'll be back. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just real Are quick. you taking Cloaky with, with you or no? Yeah. yeah. Passively. Just. I, I happen to be still holding on sure. to Cloaky, taking Cloaky with me. Okay, what are you doing outside? Uh, I want to call Scott. Ah. Mm. <laughs> I forgot this was your brother. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you 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 hit and uh, you hear a familiar voice, a little rough, a little uh, ragged. Uh, hey, what's up? Hey, Scott. Um, so Moss. Got back this morning. Okay, oh, uh, she's and, safe. Yeah, uh, I, I'm just calling to make sure you're okay. I don't, I don't really know what happened. She's not really talking to us, but um, I, I just want to make sure you're okay. That's all. I, I mean, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, it, it was, uh, it's been a, it's been a very interesting last couple of days, to say the least. Yep, she's uh She's pretty messed up. She's uh She's been drinking since like 7 in the morning. Uh I'm going to I'm going to say this to you Krug and I I don't uh I don't say this lightly. Um I can't hear that right now. Like 
I'm having to deal with this emotionally myself. And I understand that she's going through things. And, and I appreciate you making a call to check on me, but, uh, she has you all to make sure she's okay. I don't want to also carry the emotional baggage of her dealing with this. I'm having to deal with my own. I understand. And and uh, I understand how it's why it would be difficult to hear those sorts of things. Um, but you don't have to you don't have to carry that baggage by yourself. There are people around you. I, I, I know, and, and I have reached out to them, and I am talking to them, and I am working with them. Um, ironically enough, uh, I've gotten to spend a lot of time with Mia because of this. Not, not because of anything, but just because she's the only one that I've... I mean, she was there. She saw it. She understands what's going on. She thinks it's absolutely absurd, but... Again, I I have people here. All right. I haven't, I haven't gone off running into the woods or anything. All right. I, well, I, like I said, I I appreciate you calling and checking up on me. If uh if you ever decide that you need any help, you know where to find me. Yeah. I'll I'll uh I'll keep that in mind. And uh, so, sorry I didn't call sooner. We 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 had to deal with some stuff this morning, but we have a little I, bit of downtime now. Again, I I it, I appreciate it, but it's not your job. You're good. Right. Right. Well, um, talk to you later, Scott. And I hang up. And yeah, what is everyone else doing during this phone conversation? Laying in a hole. I'm gonna. Uh, I just want to. I'll be probably talking to Moss now about like trying to figure out ways that we can prevent the revenant from leaving the room if there's some sort of like spell or something a ritual perhaps that we can cast over the next five hours or so that would like seal mm -hmm. uh seal the revenant in this room so that we can actually talk without it like going into the city or something i don't know uh moss would you like to roll something yeah, i would like to roll on um, occultism sure Oh no! Come back here. Is this an intelligence roll? Intelligence roll? She's rolling. She's rolling our, our occult. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, that is thirty. So, uh, you know that there is a uh, an occult spell, um, as well as arcane and a divine spell called Bind Undead. Which uh, uh, one mind, but it only targets mindless undead. Dang, so that wouldn't be useful in this. Mindless. List. Mm -mm. We like mm. talk with it. Yeah, we can. I mean, we can talk to it. Yeah, when we just ask it not to leave. <sighs> but uh, when when the guards, when I was talking to them, they were saying like you could talk to it, but it, it seems like it has such a one track mind that it's not willing to like sit and converse. It just keeps moving forward until like there is a blockade, or you know. And and it wasn't even the fact that there was an obstruction that necessarily slowed her down before. It was the fact that they all had these huge silly shields that had like mirrors on the on the opposite side of them and we're just showing her her reflection over and over oh i mean could we surround her body right now with like mirrors or something or will that blow her it up? It made her like die, right? I can't okay. remember <laughs> how did wait no it... no 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 it just stopped her and then they stabbed her a bunch <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's accurate. That's literally what happened. No, so yes, we can stop her if we just get a bunch of mirrors or like reflective material. Because apparently revenants like hate their own looks. Like they see themselves and they go, ah. But you know, if like a if a vampire turned into a revenant, I mean, if, maybe they wouldn't even see their reflection. Am I right? Okay, now's not the time for jokes, Moss. Keep it on the down low. So 
my my guess is you're trying to have Remy or Remy. You're trying to get some mirrors. Yeah, I want to get some mirrors, some reflective stuff. Let me check my gear. I feel like I have a mirror. Moss definitely has a mirror on her. At oh all yeah, time. Like at least three. <laughs> um, I have, a, I have two crying angel pendants. Oh, I should remember that I have a lot of these items. Um, <laughs> um is there? Yeah, like Remy's gonna basically like talk to Moss about you know if uh, I mean what what like polishing a shield, yeah, um, or like or anything that could end up being like a reflection, or or even if there's like a magical, maybe there's a ritual for summoning mirrors. <laughs> Is there something I could do with like prestidigitation? Mm, not particularly. I mean, holding up a, so so um. Does someone want to roll me a religion check uh, about the mirrors? I have something in my notes that says uh, like self-loathing. Is that mm -hmm. is that for this? Okay, it was next to the guard, so I thought the guard hated himself, but maybe that's <laughs> so. Is that why they? So is that... so, so Krug, yeah. You, when they see the, the their reflection in the mirror, they don't like what they have turned into, and so they get angry and upset, and and it makes it easier for you to uh, defeat them. That being said, that being said, um, it is very possible that when the guards attempted to speak to them, they were using mirrors, which puts them in a bad spot. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So well, maybe we don't want to. Maybe we don't want to use mirrors if we can, even if we like need to fight it. Um... Uh, I I can roll religion, but I literally have a plus two. I mean, I roll. I rolled 18 plus two, so I got a 20, an unnatural 20. Am I uh, done with my conversation at this point, or is it still going? Yes. On? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, you can come in, and I can tell you, like, I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, I'll yeah, tell yeah. you exactly, like, everything we've worked through. I mean, I think we should have the ability. This conversation could go downhill, right? I, I've never spoken with a Revenant, so I don't know exactly how motivated a Revenant's going to be to, to get on their way towards their goal. So I, maybe maybe we'll get a word in and then she'll try to kill us immediately. Who knows? Uh, so maybe we should have access to the mirrors, but I don't think we should greet her with mirrors. I mean, maybe, maybe we put one face down on the floor and say, look, we don't want to fight. Let's have a conversation and see how long we can go without touching it. I just don't I want mean, her not to trust us, you know? That's just, my main thing. Yeah, if she's not attacking us and she just like keeps moving towards the city, uh, we we have we can just run alongside her and try to talk. Yeah, and we have until she meets the blockade of guards to have right. the conversation with her. That right. is, if she does not like stop moving, maybe she will come to out of the body, out of the dagger, whatever she's doing, see us here and be so thrilled that someone has found her body that she'll be like, Oh sweet. Let's talk. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. We just follow her as long as she's not attacking us. I think, I think we'll cool. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen. She's going to reach the guard and the same exact thing that happens every night is going to happen again. Right. They're exactly. Gonna... If we don't accomplish what we set out to do, we do some more planning for 24 hours and we come back tomorrow. That's fair. Yeah. Right, maybe no, we don't even, we don't even need to worry about the mayors then. Why would she attack us? We're not going to prevent her from doing what she wants to do. Yeah, she doesn't. Yeah. She, I mean, if we don't show her her reflection, we do not anger her or anything, yeah. and we don't obstruct her. We don't like stop her from yeah. going. We can even tell her like, "Hey, we want to go with you to where you're going because we want to." I mean, depending what happened, I'd, I'm not opposed to helping her meet her goal. Honestly, um, well, mm. we can't. We can't say that because if she remembers the following night like say we don't accomplish our goal and the night yeah. before we go oh we want to help you get to this place when we run into the guards at the city they explicitly said they do not want the revenant getting into the city walls right. so they're mm -hmm. going to stop it like they always do sure, yeah. and then the next day she'll be like why didn't you help me so good i point, good point. i say we know no sure. promises we cannot keep we just try to get the information we are looking for and yeah. if it doesn't work we reassess does that seem fair yeah i like it I mean, it's yeah, it's hard to really know what we can do until we see how reasonable she's able to be. So, it is um, true. It's worth a shot. So, do you want to spend a little bit of time just waiting, waiting it out? Yeah, I'm gonna meditate, chill. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. No one needs healing, right? Everyone's Last time yeah. gonna get Cool. I don't know. What can then, I do with what can I do with like four hours of downtime? What it push ups? Do we <laughs> push? -ups? Yeah, you can do push ups. I uh, I I could start shining your shield if that's a thing that we can do using crafting. Um, if we want to start that process. Oh uh, no! But... No matter what, I don't think I want to use that because it's okay. just gonna make her mad. Sure. Yeah. In fact, okay. in fact, you could be dirtying my full plate. <laughs> okay. Just to make Fun. sure she doesn't see like a reflection in my. Cool. Yeah. Let me. I, I'm gonna do that. Then. I'm gonna use crafting, Jake, to like go over all our equipment to make sure we're not gonna accidentally piss. Sure. Off. Sure. <laughs> uh, Moss, uh, roll me another fortitude save if you're gonna oh, take a nap. Wow. I'm gonna take a nap, and I also want to see if, like, if I nap, can I recharge anything? You get your focus points back, but I don't think you've spent any. Okay. Uh, 24. This is a funny thing to roll a one on. Uh, Moss, uh, get rid of your plus two to charisma and add two back to your intelligence. You haven't gotten all the way back, okay. but you're still, you're, clumsy? you're still clumsy. Okay. Um, You know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to allow the themes to play out. I rolled a one to uh to un mirror any of our equipment and that is a one plus uh crafting so 11 okay for total 12. yeah you you uh you you basically throw dirt on on remy's armor and you're just like uh, don't, i don't know how to make it stick <laughs> <laughs> uh it hmm. dirties it up a little bit but it, it doesn't like stay cool. um so about 6 p.m ish you start to see the body glow a light green color. The body stays still, but the soul lifts out of the body and stands upright. And she looks around the room and sees all of you. And Hi. she goes to speak. And she goes, and all of a sudden she just grabs herself an extraordinary amount of pain and screams out loud enough that all of you actually have to kind of like you wince Ooh. slightly because of like the volume in which it is nothing that hurts you, but it's just so ear piercingly loud and the green glow turns into lightning like fingers that come from the, the dagger and grab and circle around her and you can see her she's slightly changing a little bit uh, um everyone like roll me a will okay we'll say cool. oh, okay um, sorry sorry now we'll say just an intelligence roll intelligence roll oh, okay oh. intelligence cool Oh, all right. Intelligence is my like I think my second best thing. Um, <laughs> I think intelligence is one of my worst things. No. Um, <laughs> oh no, wisdom is my worst thing. Intelligence is sixteen, just plus or yeah, just plus intelligence. Mm -hmm. Well, so actually, it was eighteen, so twenty-one. Cool. So just flat plus intelligence. Uh, that's a three. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Sixteen, Moss. I wow, love to close it. Uh, 15. Anyone get higher than a 20? Yes, I rolled a 21. Oh, nice. You remember, you remember the fact is, is that if a revenant stays like this without getting revenge, it could have the possibility of turning into a specter. Mm. Right. Okay. You believe so... that this dagger is actually pushing it quicker to turn into a specter. Okay. And as it wraps around it, it almost grabs her like a cage wrapping around her and she's moving in anguish and she like reaches out with her hand looking at the closest person just, and she winces again from the pain and it all just snaps, disappears, the green disappears and she stands there almost looking zombie-esque as she starts to float towards the exit. Still um, still a revenant or a specter yep, now? Still a revenant. Wait, hello, we are we we want to talk to you. Yeah. Can we talk to you? We're, we're here to help as much as we can, maybe. 
No promises. Do you have a moment? Death. Kill. She um, repeats out loud. Do you know who? Death kill? Death kill who? We C- can help you. C- city. City? Okay. Is is there a person or multiple... Is there a person you're mad at? Is there a person you're mad at? Uh, and I she understand! Kind of- <laughs> she she <laughs> stops for a moment and you can tell that she's fighting something as her hands start to glow a green and she she stops for a moment and looks at you with like pain and anguish and for a moment of clarity it, she looks back at you and goes forced to kill everyone in the city <sighs> and she starts to float away again I would like to um just be like, wait, wait, stay with us, stay with us, and give her, uh, I'm going to give her guidance, so if she attempts to break through again, maybe that'll help her. Okay. Um, but, um, okay, that's bad, everyone, right? It, it sounds like she's seeking, uh, I guess, vengeance, or, or, or the death of the city as a whole. Forced to kill the city as a whole, everyone in the city. Yeah, um, but that, that could have been what wait, she was... We are, we are from the city. She continues to move. Dang it. <sighs> you don't want to kill us? They're very strong. Uh, the word she said was kill in the city. Yeah, in the city. Yep. Wait, so all you have to do is take the city <laughs> and move it over there. <laughs> I would love... Mm-hmm. Vasa, well, do you have any, any more to, to say to her about the understanding? Um, I'm going to run after her and place a hand on her arm and say, wait, wait, I was just terribly betrayed. Let's just talk girl to girl. <laughs> and and it, it stops for a moment and looks at the arm that you, you touched. And then it just moves its arm through your arm. Whoa. Ugh. And your hand feels like, if you have you ever had that feeling of walking through spider webs, mm-hmm. and like there's no spider webs on you whatsoever. That's oh, yes, the feeling, only when there are spider webs. Yep. Yeah, that that is the feeling that your hand gets when when it passes through you, and, and she, she she stops again, and you can see her reaching out and grabbing the mine edge, like almost dragging away. And you all start to notice that there are, in fact, like drag marks along the edge. And you can tell that she has been trying to fight against going out. Jonas, did you share the bit about uh, that the dagger might be helping her turn into a specter? Or push oh, her yeah. to turn? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, is that, that's something I learned just now, right? Yeah, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Robin will say that now. Because um, okay. I, I have something moving quickly. Just... Um, oh yeah, the dagger um, might be what's uh, pushing her towards becoming a specter. By the way, uh, just to add that to to the ether. But we don't know what happens if we remove the dagger. That's true. Um, I'm gonna Remi- go up to her and, and kind of like uh, not just so like I can hear if she whispers or can't like get out some words. You know, I'm gonna say you know that you're losing control, right? And you literally see a single tear go down her face as she continues to walk. Remy's um, gonna go over to the dagger. Okay. And like wrap a hand around it. Okay. We think that that the dagger in your back is tying you to to this. Do you understand? And, and it continues to push forward. Remy's gonna jostle the dagger a little, not no, like taking it out, but like kind of wiggle it. Nothing. Are you following as well? No, I'm, no. I'm back at the body. Oh, oh, that's right. The dagger's not in the specter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, jostling it like, is anything happening? I'm I'm jostling the dagger. Oh, in that case, I'm going to look over at Remy. I'm saying, Remy, get your hand off that dagger right now. Well, I'm just wondering if the... I it mean, doesn't like, appear... Uh, Rem, Rem, no, Rem, Rem, nothing's happening. Okay. Uh, should I roll, Jake? Or are you just gonna? Should I just trust you? With what? What do you want to do? See if there's any effect of uh, after Remy moves the dagger. Any effect on her? Oh yeah, there's nothing. 
Cool, cool. Nothing, babe. Nothing. Please get your hand off it. Actually, Kruby is right. Okay. But, but worth trying. Worth detecting. We've detected. If, there, no if there's any magic, uh, uh, like the magic, you know for a fact, it has to do with it being physically in the body. So okay. the only thing that's going to happen is if you physically remove it from the body. If uh, I, I'm going to meet back up with everyone else, like I'm going to, I'm going to run and like, how fast is this revenant moving? By the way. It's, uh, it's it's walking like okay. it's it's literally and it's like t maybe 20, 20 feet per per round yeah like, or, like an hour per action. okay cool so yeah i'm running up and i'm catching up to everybody else are we all just basically following this right now i have been yeah yeah okay so as we're like following it instead of talking to it i'm going to talk to everyone else now it's like okay so the course of action seems i mean we could just it, we can keep trying to get information out of her in the meantime right now like if we can get anything concrete um but i fear i mean the, you all saw the cage in the green and everything we might be genuinely like a day away from yeah. her becoming a specter yeah she's barely holding on um you know that whatever you try tonight is going to end the same as it did last night right I'm sorry. What? To the to the spec to the the um, revenant. Is... What, what, the, what, what about, about the revenant? But I, I just want to say <laughs> to the revenant, you, you realize that oh. whatever you try tonight is going to end up the same as last time, right? Okay. Uh, oh. Krug, Krug, I would say that you you've kind of got the idea and understanding that the revenant is told to do a specific thing, which you've understood it to be kill the city and and it's not a choice it's 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 not it's not a willful right. thing she her willful thing is she wants it to stop you can tell that by the drag marks on the ground you can tell that by the tear in her eye you can tell that by what she has said to you that this is not something that she chooses to do Force. she is being forced to do this until she turns into a specter with what we understand about revenants, and this might uh, call for another role, but do we think that now that we know this is a like fabricated revenant, or it is like one that was made to be a revenant, do we mm -hmm. think that there is something we could do to undo this? And like, like, I guess she's probably dead forever, but like at least release her spirit if we were to track down the person who did it or something about the nature of this spell. So, um, um the the spirit is usually changed into a revenant because they are murdered and killed and their body needs right. to be buried and or discovered right it doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily have to just be the person being paid for the crime right it could sure. be just burying them right okay uh, the issue is is that you don't know what this dagger is doing and so Sorry. you don't know if you don't know if this dagger is what's actually making her continue to be a revenant and maybe it needs to charge up or maybe it needs something else. But from your understanding, it's all about this dagger. There's yeah. nothing you can tell that there is nothing that you're going to be able to do to convince her. Otherwise you can kill her. She'll just rise again the next night. You don't know if tomorrow night is the night she becomes a specter. Is it definitely not going to happen tonight do we know that yeah yeah you know like it's, the specter thing can't happen after she's already started moving. on creation okay great. cool that's I'm that's sure actually really helpful in that case i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna say i mean good luck but we're we're gonna do everything we can to make this your last night and it continues to move forward yeah Are you and then I, in front of it huh are you standing in front of it or, or no 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 i'm walking up beside it okay and, and like can, can, talking can to I it do the side of its head. can i do fascinating performance would that work on it can i can mm -hmm. stop it seems to have some sort of mind control on it already now moss you you don't uh they have told you this already so you probably your character knows but molly the player but it doesn't but the city itself can handle it the city right. is not having an issue with the Revenant. They are aware that it's going to happen and the Revenant will be destroyed every yeah. night. The issue is, is that it keeps coming back. Yeah. We, we just want to stop it. We don't need to, we don't need to protect them. We just need to end the problem. Yeah. Uh, I think, I guess I'm going to go back to the dagger. Okay. 
Yeah, um, Remy will go back with Karig. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make an Arcana check on the dagger and see if I I want to see if I can. I don't know if I've done this already. Have I? I think I did religion to see if it's part of a ritual, but I don't think I did Arcana. Or maybe I did. You tell me. I don't know. Just roll it again. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go back too, but I don't know what I'm rolling yet. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and roll mining lore. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, you're looking at it, and this is definitely a magical dagger. Uh, you don't know what spell it is. You're, uh, you have no idea what it is. You've never seen this, and you're starting to believe that whatever spell is, it, that's on it, um, has nothing to do with the dagger's design at all. Okay, so mm. it, whatever the it's effect ornate. is, it could have been on anything. Yep, it, it could have been on a toothpick as long as it was the the yeah. thing that killed them. Sure, sure. So, well, if it could have been like, anything, why did they choose such an ornate dagger? And if it is such an ornate <laughs> dagger, this is not a common item, correct? Correct. If you had the dagger, you could theoretically go back and figure out who bought it. Well, okay, I pick up the body. I was gonna say, yep, we can just bring the body. <laughs> That's I was thinking we could just like take fair. it really far away so that you didn't have time to go to the city <laughs> next time, but well, the then. We don't know what a specter can do. I mean, I don't. I didn't roll any That's knowledge about specters, but yeah. they could maybe teleport. Who knows? Remy, are are you actually picking up this? I am the whole body. Roll me a guidance. reflex save. <laughs> I said guidance before you said reflex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. Twenty three. That's okay. As you pick up the body, you hear the uh, uh, the sound of bing, bing, as the dagger falls from the body. Oh, can I try to catch it? Sure, you can try to catch it. I'm it's already. It. I'm gonna say it's already hit the ground. I'm gonna yeah, tell okay. as as a GM, I am telling you, it hit the ground, sure. and that is not the thing that affects it. Then I'm gonna as try hit, to catch it, and instead, I'm just gonna pick it up. <laughs> uh, you you pick up the dagger, Moss, who is still kind of attached to this revenant understanding that it has been betrayed she didn't walk back moss you see the revenant completely stop moving turn back and look you directly in the eyes okay. and goes thank you and it just disappears <laughs> wow um i have a knife robin, robin as you're holding this dagger in your hand it green lightning starts to come out of it and wrapping around your hand um, and up your arm. Um, um, and you can't let go of it as I, I, um, I, I, everyone, I, um, I, I would try to disarm at this point. Go for it. The, the disarm DC is a 35. Okay, what's the DC for chopping off my wife's oh arm? My <laughs> I don't think Your I can. Arm. Oh, it can natural 20. I didn't natural 20. Uh, you attempt to disarm it, and as you like, try to hit it out of her hand, little tiny little sparklets of green electricity wave across your hand, and all of a sudden, green mist starts to form around Robin. Wait, can Remy try to chop my arm off? No, it's too late. <laughs> and this is where we're going to end today's episode. Oh! oh! Why'd you pick up the evil necromancy dagger? I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, it was uh, a bad instinct. <laughs> it was saved, Scarlet. And really isn't that the most important. Yeah. <laughs> Although I will say that was totally a reasonable, like, that was a human moment where you, like, yeah. reflexively tried to grab the dagger and now it's... In yeah. Exactly. It's like, oh, no, that I can't... That. I was thinking, like... If it hits the ground, maybe it'll be worse. Like yeah. it's better if I have it before that happens. I don't know why. It's more like if I do something, I can make it better, and this is what I can do. Yeah, yeah. How I imagined it happening is like you saw it going, and you like reach for it, and like it bounced once. The tip hit the hit the met like as it's flipping because mm -hmm. it didn't just go blunk, right? It goes bing bing, and you're like, oh, I got it. You know, you like grabbed it before it like settled onto the ground. That's how I imagined it. In my head yeah. that it happened. Um, yeah. Awesome. Let's uh let's say goodbye in well, cool. order. Let's start with Moss the Magnificent. Hi, I'm Moss the Magnificent, aka Molly McIsaac. You can find me across the internet at Molly McIsaac, except here on Twitch where I'm Night Glimmer. That's all.
All right. Hell yeah. Hi, my name is Krug, and if you want to talk to me, um, to go to our Discord. Discord's really fun. Discord's a fun place to hang out. And then uh, also go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash main. Woo! Jonas. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Jonas Newhouse. I'm also in the band Glass Beach, along with our friend William here and a couple other very good people. Uh, and we have a remix album coming out on Friday, uh, which is a collection of remixes and covers done by 18 fantastic artists of songs from Glass Beach's first album, the first Glass Beach album. The remix album, it, remix and cover album is called Alchemist Rats Beg Bashful. And yeah, it'll be out on, I think, out on everything, including Bandcamp and streaming services on Friday. Uh, I also do some streaming on the Glass Beach Twitch channel, including this Tuesday at probably 5 p.m. Pacific. I will be continuing my playthrough with our guitarist Lane of Shadow of the Colossus Remake. And the next thing after that you'll see me at is this Thursday here on this channel um, doing something with our hijinks and handlebars series that William will have more to say about now. Yes, and hello. Uh, I'm William. I've been Remy Ashwell, uh, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at KWilliamWhite. That remix album, Alchemist Rats Beg Bashful, parentheses, remixes, close parentheses. I'm just going to give you the, uh, the artist right now. We got, it's Jiraiya, Fantasy Love, Wow OK, Backwash, Jackson from Online, Floral Tattoo, Clover and Sea Life, Scottoon Network, Shelfie, Twinkle Park, Pink Shift, Barty Strange, Skylar Spence, Dre Dupree, uh, G Wiz, Only Tom, Namdi, and Dogleg. It's stacked. It's going to be freaking awesome. That's again, that's March 5th. It's going to be awesome. It's so good. It'll be on streaming platforms and available on Bandcamp for $8 for the entire album. You can pre order it right now. Cents a track. You can, yeah, you can pre order right now. That's uh, that's going to be glassbeach.bandcamp.com and it's Alchemist Rats Beg Bashful remixes. Uh, I also do two other shows for Q Times. Uh, hijinks and handlebars which this is 6 30 p.m pacific on thursdays we'll be streaming this upcoming thursday something yeah we're in an interim <laughs> period right now as we work out switching systems for reasons we'll discuss on thursday yeah so check that out and uh check out all the other stuff in the backlog uh, that we have on the q times main youtube channel there's a playlist called hijinks and handlebars there's a playlist called killer set we did a Monster of the Week campaign in a playlist called Monster of the Week that was uh, GM by Sam Richardson, and that was amazing. And yeah. Jonas and I got to be a part of that. It was really great. So, and there's a ton of other shows on on Q Times, Times. Rules. Yeah. Check it out. Okay, bye. Thank you all so much for watching this. Um, stick around, check notifications. Uh, make sure to follow us on uh, Twitter because we will be talking about a couple of things that we might be changing, like moving platforms and all of that other fun stuff. So make sure to check out that. Uh, until next time, my name is Jake. You can find me on Twitter at IndigoQT. That's the best place to find me besides our Discord. Stick around because we've got uh, Power Play coming up next. Bye, everyone. Bye.